We've switched places. Well, it would almost actually work since Tales of Mirrorlith was open when I started the server. How was it <clears> open? <throat> because you didn't close open. it. I always close my stuff though. push a talk, then keep talking like it doesn't have a timer. If you didn't hear, uh, if you just disconnect from the server, that doesn't actually close anything down. No, I, I, I know. I, I thought I legitimately right-clicked, hit uh, exit program entirely, and then when you boot it up again, it should have... Press Twitter. You have to right-click on the desktop of Fantasy Grounds and then go to the yes. close. That, 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 that's exactly what I just said, yes. You didn't do it. <laughs> okay, well... Twitch! <coughs> At least I'm not the worst offender. Usually I'm good about this. Usually you are. It is true. And you're as bad as HP. Yes, I'm aware I just installed a new God's Damned Toner cartridge because my roommate drained it and didn't tell me. Oh, I don't want using your... using an ink printer. I am using an ink printer because I am a low-income individual who scavenges technology from his slightly tech-deficient mother. Plebe and I use a 3D printer. Okay, I'm coming over to your place next time. Okay, I'm logged into Fantasy Ground. You can find where I live. Where's Crickets? He's I mean, uh, at his thing. Oh. Mahal, my uh, brother Matt has a uh, 3D printer and he's just around the corner from you. All the best documents are documented on 3D printed paper. As we don't are forget spinning. the uh, uh, don't forget the inch tall uh, confidential right uh, printed on there. Mm. Makes it great for stacking. I don't know what you mean. Never mind. I'm just going to point uh, our lovely DM to this one. As I care about his financial well-being. Oh yeah, no, that's... Should I point out the fact that I haven't purchased an ink cartridge in years? Because my mother's printer breaks, I take it home, I fix it, I have a new printer with, like, a half dozen cartridges for both black and... Oh, good. He was yeah, I guess this money. only really applies to more recent ones when they realize they get away with printer shenanigans. No, they've, they've been doing that for years. The printer makes them no money. It's the ink, the toner, they make money. Like, ink is worth thousands of dollars. And, like, just, like, a gallon of ink would probably be thousands. Actually, it's not as expensive as they make it out to be. It is expensive, but not that expensive. Maybe, maybe it's for the specific cartridges we have at work. Because I know the ones at my work, which are even less than a gallon, are at least over a thousand. My, 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 my gum. Uh oh. Am I here? No, I'm good. Okay. No, you're not here. You're not on our plane of existence at all. I thought my power you just worked. Somewhere else now. Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to check to make sure something didn't die. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, all of this stuff is nice, happy, and bouncy, but it's not quite what I'm wanting to listen to right now. Let's see. What do we have here in the list? You know what? Uh, this always works. Claim. Ah, uh, yeah, my light burnt out. <clears throat> By the way, how is my mic doing today? Because it seems to always vary in quality. It sounds fine to me. Good volume and everything? Coming through nice and clear on my end. Excellent. I need to know because I got more songs for y'all. I hear words coming out of your mouth. Bacon. So, my work, uh, they make... We've got a cafeteria on the campus. And they make the best bacon I've ever had. I don't know how, I don't know what they buy, but it is incredible, and I love it. And the best part is, I get to go in and grab a few slices every night when they make some. Can you describe in what manner it is superior to the others you have tried? Uh, for starters, um, it's a very juicy, they, they somehow managed to make it both Crispy and juicy. Wait, what do they, they make? bake it? The bacon. Oh. No, no, they bake it. They uh, probably have it baking in an oven instead of frying it on a pan. That's the wrong way to do. It. In the fry pan, not the oven. Oven is the great way it smokes less. It comes out juicier and somehow still crisper. I need to get more flavor though. I don't know if that's how they do it. All I know is. Every now and then when I go through the kitchen at night, there is a giant tub of bacon that is left out and they let me grab a slice or two when it's left out. And I am okay with this. <clears throat> hey Zim, are you in Fantasy Grounds? Not yet. That's usually the last okay. thing I do. Gotcha. Since nobody in the audience is asking questions, you slackers. Do any of you people have any concerns or issues to bring up in our last two minutes before we start? Yeah! Why the hell is our cleric going around smashing people's hands? Yeah, I'd like to know very much why that's happening. You know, you me in particular. Up a rock, you know. There were plenty of rocks, there were stalactites. That probably would have done less damage, even if it pierced me through my heart. <laughs> Well, to be fair to that last statement, you'd have to jump pretty high to get a stalactite. Maybe a stalagmite yeah, then. Yeah, remember. Stalagmite, I can see that. I mean, he could use the hammer to break off a stalagmite and then throw it like a spear. Yeah, he could crush it into a pulp like by hand. Oh, hey, that would make rocks that he could then throw at you for like one damage. Man, we should run this by him. So, so the way that I was taught to remember the difference between stalactite and stalagmite, you know, stalactites have to hold tight to the ceiling, whereas a stalagmite might someday reach the ceiling. Yes. Then why'd you forget? I have the same thing, but stalagmites stand mighty and tall. I never heard that before, that's really good. That's a good way to remember which one's which. One it might is. almost imagine that's how they originally named, and everybody else forgot about it. Yeah, mine, uh... uh the one that I was taught, I, uh... My dad took me to some caves in Ohio, and they taught us that there. <clears throat> I'm excited. I want to chuck the orb in the fucking vending machine. <laughs> By the way, Pal Royal, thank you very much for that uh, follow. Sorry I didn't get to you. I was a little preoccupied with uh, yelling at our uh, cleric for 
smashing people's hands. Uh, I would like to point out at this Who's time, here? before we begin, sorry, I will never stand in the way of PV. That, that was it. That's all I had to say. You'll never stand in the way of PvP? I will never get in the way of PvP. Ah, I thought I heard yeah, PvC. I, I kind of... You know, PvC, it. if you really want it, I mean, if you got the gold. But We, we, we need some PvC, PvC pipes. Do you mean PCP? P he, he facilitated me completely uh, killing a uh, caster in one of our previous games. That was a fun time. Good thing I'm not a caster. Um. Y you are. No, I'm a singer. I'm a performer. I am a bard. <clears throat> nah, you're a caster. Nah. You work the magics. Oh, I definitely work the magics. Oh. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. I am Razim, and this is the Trial of Azeroth. This evening, we are diving into the depths of the psyche of this nefarious hand smasher to determine exactly why he would so mortally wound our fallow ally. Azeroth, what do you have to say for yourself? Did I panic back? Sorry. I'm a mom. You're cutting in and out. Repeat what you said again. I fortunately was talking to family. I, I asked why you would uh, smash the uh, hand of your ally. Like I said, the outcome of it wasn't the intention. Sir, that is not the question. Did you or did you not raise your hammer against the bard known as Moriarty? When he was 20 feet up, convinced that the siren song was something he had to chase. I threw Sir, my hammer. are you implying that you intentionally threw your hammer at the defendant whilst he was in the air? Are you aware that that invokes fall damage, sir? Yep. I was underneath him to catch him for the fall damage, just like I was there. Your the Honor, game. please note that the aggressor did indeed know about the fall damage. <laughs> this is a whole different type of rule lawyering. <laughs> the question is, why am I in court again? Because you threw your hammer at our bird and smashed his hand! Again. He's literally useless to us now! No, he still has his voice. But he doesn't have his instrument that he needs to cast spells. Hmm. Or sorry, he has his instrument. He can't use it. It's only a flesh wound. Don't worry, guys. I'll still be useful somehow. Is the bard pressing charges against? Uh, can I? Yeah. Then yes. If, if you would you like to put it in order at your Greaves approved market kiosk mm -hmm. for a pocket lawyer, yes, you may. A lawyer? A pocket lawyer? That's great. <clears throat> Use this item to initiate court. <laughs> <laughs> to be confused with the item used to initiate courtship. God. The moment the hammer the... leaves your hand, you don't have control of that anymore, okay? It's like, friggin', when they when I asked uh, Elysian to jab me with the spear earlier, you know, he had full control of the weapon when he did it. I did. But you don't have control the moment that hammer leaves your hand, okay? But you still control the direction that it's going in. Yeah, but and you don't. You can't control your... what damage it does anymore. And with though. your example, there was a chance that he could have accidentally slipped and punctured you for full damage with his weapon. Which is the case here. As like I said, I wasn't going to intending to throw it and smash his hand. The intent was never to smash a part of him. It was to get him down. Or at well, least we not are, him down. Well, we are. 
you guys make it sound like I was full on intending to murder him, which was not tent at all. We know you're not. You weren't intending to murder him. We don't question your malice. We question <laughs> your intelligence. No, you question <laughs> the uh, the actions of my. Well, questioning the outcome of my action. <clears throat> To make it seem like that I intended to 100% crush his hand when I okay. wanted to get him down, Guys. versus the fact that it went. Hey, Can, we, on, uh, Can we move on? Prevaricate. In the case terrible. of a crime, the intent does not matter, this, save this, in mitigating circumstance. If things oh. had gone right, this would not be going on right now. Nor would you guys this, care. This is starting to drag on a bit, and I, I just kind of want to get to the to the session today because I'll yeah, have we're just talking with you anyway. Terrible, and <laughs> as well, uh, you took care of the rest of your funding and sales off air. So for Tato and Nim, who also inserted items for sale, Tato, with your debt deducted automatically, you have 382 gold, 5 silver. Yay! And, and how much did Nim Fly get? Fly to your own sheet. <laughs> Nim, much? the machine spits out 394, or 3,994, my apologies. Gold, 7 silver, and 5 coppers. Uh, I was quoted at 4,000, right? Without the interest. Okay. And there's a gratuity for every sale. Damn it, now I gotta pull out the calculator to figure out how much I've got. Convenient search. And you were after the wings of flying, which are a flat 5,000 market value. However, there is, of course, a 250 gold gratuity fee for the purchase. I don't have enough. You might try asking your friends. I don't know, I'm On scared. Which note? Azeroth might smash my tail or something. Um, can you share the, uh, uh, the list again? Uh, if you look into the, map. In the notes under a magic shop, that is the one you want. It has Thank been you. shared with the party. You can access it yourself. Oh, that's cool. I'm trying to train you for this. Thank you. Mostly because he's lazy. No, I, I'm actually trying to train you. My laziness has nothing to do with it. Yes. Laziness is just the gravy on the side. <laughs> gravy. That said, and <clears throat> fortunately for Nim, Elysian decided to share some of his own windfall with the rest of you. Each of you, including crickets to whom I will apply it, receive 200 gold from Elysian's benevolent hands. Uh, Tato, you get 180. Okay. The moment the coins touch your palm, a tenth of them vanish automatically. I'm still asleep. I'm sure that Elysian piles Wait. them carefully by your It would be, off. uh, 5250 for the wings? 5250, correct. I actually have enough. But Nim will graciously accept the uh, extra coins. Uh, he's still not 100% sure exactly what they would do, but all he knows is he's getting some wings. He knew what they were for last time. <laughs> By the way, I just noticed there's a ferret in the arch for the group. Who owns the ferret? The one who it's on top of? What does the ferret do? Does it have a name? Can it talk? 
It's technically Nim's familiar. Oh. Yes, he has a steed and a familiar. Hmm. He lets his wolf be the steed. <laughs> technically a steed. He, he, he functions more like a companion, though. <clears throat> Alright, I have subtracted 5,250 gold from my inventory. I am ready for my wings. Somebody ring a bell because this doggo is getting his wings. Oh. I, I, I don't have a bell sound. Oh, uh, actually, one of us does have a bell. And unfortunately, they decided to unattune this grateful gift because they wanted a necklace instead. How dare they? There, there's your sound effect. Even fits because when. No, this one's better. Um, I would there like to buy the scroll of Sleet Storm. Were, weren't we okay. supposed to get through all the marketing, like, last session? Yes, but everybody left. 420 with the gratuity. Or 420, which is 420. Yay, 420! Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> last time I had to run to work and stuff, so I well, wasn't yeah. able to. I'm putting a limit on how much I'm allowing to happen here. Uh, Nim wants to take his free spin of the thing. A minute, but in the meantime, go ahead and roll percentiles. All of us? Well, Nim's taking his free spin. He rolls percentiles. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot what I even got from it. Uh, a scroll that I put in your inventory already. Thanks. Should I roll mine in advance? So oh, that right. I can scroll of time. We can just, like, proceed. <clears throat> so I don't hold things up. If you would like, it'll take me a moment. I need to find where I hit that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and roll it. Whoops, that's not what I want. In the meantime, decide what else you people are doing. We already recently took a long rest, so it would be unwise to try and take another one. Actually, we haven't technically taken our long rest yet. I'll do my spin too. We will be doing that after we, uh... After the, all the shopping and stuff. Yeah, that's why McCann is still KO for me. No, I meant before even getting into this room. Like, I'm pretty sure we took a long rest before that. No. Oh yeah, we did. No, no, we didn't. I mean, it was a while ago, and we basically did a whole bunch of stuff between that long rest and now, but we did. Okay. We haven't taken a long rest since uh, certain someone smashed an ally's hand, which means that we definitely need to rest and re help him recuperate. So I call high or low, right? Nope. Oh. You just roll percentiles. Okay. I was doing <laughs> high, high or low to see which hand I lost. Ooh, 77. Very lucky numbers. Ding, 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 ding. You got jackpot. Jackpot! You delude yourself into that. Nim, as you navigate the touch screen and press the Shining Gacha spin button, the pixelated wheels turn and churn and then stop, showing a set of mason's tools. Oh, that's cool. And the details is They're all yours. Nim's got no use for those. Oh, wait! Can he use them like he does his chef's uh, utensils? Are you trained in masonry? Uh, good question. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to guess no. No. In which case, no. Moriarty, you step up next. Although, eventually, actually, you're uh, still asleep. You will eventually step up. <clears throat> yes. I have your item, though. Do I get a uh, bonus and luck proficiency from surviving my hand being smashed? Uh, well, you can use your use of good luck tomorrow to roll twice. And I will tell you both items. Well, no. What? I will allow you to choose which percentile you use. How's that? Um, okay. Confused. For you, Elysian, you step up, you tap the button as Nim is still examining the hammers and chisels and other miscellany in it. It is a nicely wrapped bundle, by the way. It's got a full leather carrying case that rolls out. Everything is well oiled. It might be a used product, but it has been book. Elysian, you step up, and a small brass tube rattles out of the chute. You receive a spyglass. Yay! Oh, that's actually well, I really always cool. wanted. Yeah, those no. are actually really <laughs> expensive. <laughs> uh, I can now be a pirate. Quick question: What does the rope of useful items do? Uh, if memory serves, you basically can reach into it and say, "You know, I could really use a paperclip about now," and you'll pull out a paperclip. Let me look it up. Now. Uh, no, uh, I actually know what it does because I recently saw it. It's more like it's a robe that has patches on it, and you uh, see, I see. Patch. it has a specific list of items. So. Yeah. You, you pull off a patch that has an item that you think you want, or a general sort of theme of an item that you want, and then it'll basically spin a dice, and you'll get something of that general theme of that item. So, like, there are some patches that have gold on it, and it'll give you different gold values. There are some patches that have tools on They're it. They're not this it version will... of it, actually. Uh, oh, really? In 5th edition, it has two each of a dagger patch, a bull's eye lantern, filled and lit, a steel mirror, a 10-foot pole, hemp and rope, 50 feet, okay. and a sack. And then it says 44 other patches that the DM gets to choose. So it does have Ooh. limited uses. It does have limited uses, but among the other items that can be acquired are a bag of gold or gems. As a nice, Fantasy Grounds is amazing. They have this built-in roll table for me. Yes, they do. I still want it. I remember so seeing it. I can say, it. okay, if I got a 27, so yours would have an extra patch with 10 gems. Um, uh, but so, uh, just just for clarification, what did I get again? I'm still confused. You um, haven't actually received your item yet because you're asleep, but if you'd okay. like to preemptively acquire it. You also haven't technically rolled yet because you're asleep, so I'm not telling you whether it's a good item or a bad item. Okay, I'll, I'll wait for the suspense. I will warn you, higher is not always better. I have a lovely random generator I'm using to pick out pre-selected items. I mean, yeah, you said high or low, and last time high or low was, which hand do I get to keep? <laughs> yeah. And you you did pick the right uh, range there. You kept your good hand. I kept... I picked the left range, actually. Yes, and you kept your good hand. But, uh, Moving on. You have sold your miscellany. Made a few purchases. Elysian, are you for sure picking up that robe of useful items? Yes. Okay. 420. Okay. Yay! Okay. Paid. Think. <clears throat> Alright then, are we... Nope. You have had a long and harrowing few days sleeping out in the rough. By my estimate, you took three long rests, I believe, in the Howling Caverns. 
Like in total or like right now? In total with the group. They took three long rests down in that last dungeon. I think so. You have cozy new beds. Let me get that map up for you. We have cozy new beds, good, proper meals, a fireplace crackling away in one corner, a latrine, oh, bless the gods, natural place to do your bed, and enough supplies to last you for weeks in comfort if you want to hole up and wait for the apocalypse. <clears throat> How many uh, more rations can we take with us? These are meant to be fresh supplies. They are stored in Greaves' proprietary stasis boxes. And the boxes themselves are too heavy to carry, and the food within would likely spoil in short order. So in the dungeon, you will need to use your rations. However, if you, say, had somebody skilled in the culinary arts... Nim, can I have- wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your friend is actually a bed. He's a mimic. And I was gonna say, Tato has transmogrified overnight and become a giant mimic. Yeah. And given the way his hair's been behaving, this is only inevitable. <laughs> Feed me money! <laughs> I have become my debt! <laughs> all right um nim i just had a really good idea oh you see all that food in these boxes and you know they're kind of the perishable kind right well i was thinking do you know how to, like, um, uh, preserve them? But meat is best fresh. Don't you this use isn't... salt? Very rarely. It's about survival, man. Not how okay. good it tastes. Thank you. Are you guys running low on rations? Well, no. I'm not. I'm not running low, but I'd like to have more, just in case. Nim will start uh, preserving everything. How long does that take? Weeks. Uh. Depends on the food. If there's fruits, it could be turned into jam pretty instantly. True. Ooh, jam. I like jam. That said, anything he does to this food will be no better than the rations you have now. That's fine. Well, to be fair, he didn't mention before that if you ate this food, you gain, like, what? Some sort of special heal? I received an extra healing with you we ate the food and had a good night's sleep um but i say oh no i get extra healing because we fully recover overnight i had to really think that give me a few minutes i'll find where i put it in my notes well, in the meantime yes he started... there is a benefit to eating the food when prepared properly uh before he starts uh cooking he we're gonna do the long rest uh, Nim will take part of that to, uh, attune to his new wings. Long rest applied. Everybody is on full health. We have recovered some hit die. Yay. <clears throat> I'm back at full hit die. Not to self hit the seal more often. No! <laughs> Oh. Experience points have been awarded, and look at that. You are all level 10. I will give you one, just because I was late. Da -na -na -na. We're level 
ten already? Da, 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 da. Feels like we just level. Oh wait, no, that was my other D D. That's why. Yay, level ten. Does it matter which book I declare class from or no? Depends uh, on which try one to map you got. If you can. It depends on where you got your uh, domain from. Boop. I don't Pluses. think I had any extra months. Okay. Well, if you look at your abilities, you should have a domain listed, and you'll need to find which version of the cleric has that domain in order for abilities to apply properly. Ooh, I've got another aura. Uh, it looks like you picked yours up from Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Okay, cool. Is there a difference between some of them? What archetypes and such that they have included in the coding. Uh, it's a proprietary thing. In order to have the archetypes that are loaded into Xanathar's Guide, you have to have purchased it through Fantasy Grounds thus by giving money to Wizards of the uh, Coast for using their supplementary content. I don't think I should use it though seen. because theirs only has the four they only, they only have the two extra domains listed and I don't use either of those domains. Boop. I don't actually see the domains listed in my abilities. Uh, that would be because you're not a cleric. But I'm a bard, and there are so many bards. There's like three of them. Uh, you're a lore bard. Yours will be core. I'll get mine from core. <clears throat> After staying so long down in the Howling Cave, Tato has become a natural explorer of the Underdark. That is uh, actually appropriate and fitting. Oh, yeah. I got something. Uh, so I get ability score improvement. That was it, right? Uh, you spoke in a yawn. Unless it's less on your character sheet. Oh! The fighter is about the only one that get it more wrong. Um. Okay. Hey, uh, Mal, you remember how, like, previously we were talking about the hand? I just gained magical secrets. Yes, you did. And expand your... Mage hand cantrip, you do indeed take that magic secret. <clears throat> okay. So you choose much for you. I'm going to increase my charisma <clears throat> by. Okay. Does your class list that you get a, a, an ability boost or is. Uh, the ability score improvement. Then, yes, you do. Know how to do my D&Ds, I just have a faint memory of being able to choose a feat, but... Yep, eh. you can choose a feat or an improve an ability score. Oh. You have to make a choice. Oh. My okay, so choose feats a... are actually an optional rule in 5e. And are the you... option is you either take a feat or an ability boost. Are you going to do prevent us from taking them then, or... Gods, no. I play Pathfinder where you get a feat every level, sometimes two. Uh, let's see Hang now. Hang on a so second. I believe... How are you getting a feat? Or ability score? Different classes get them at different levels. I know, yeah, but he's on, a rogue. At level, at level 10, I get four hit dice, my... Sneak attack increases to 5d6 oh. and ability score improvement. So you do. Mm -hmm. I'd already confirmed it. Well, Bye. if you guys are within 10 feet of me, you can no longer be frightened. Oh, my bard gets well, what if they're frightened of beast? They cannot be frightened. Boop. No. Uh, one, two, five. Oh, oh I... that's not how I did it. How did I do it? Oh. That's how. Okay, so. Five. Nope, that's six. <laughs> there we go! Wait, what? No, that's not right. Please stop monologuing. Yeah, please. <clears throat> so, Sorry. really quick. Uh, it says I have expertise. Does that mean I gain expertise in another thing? It does indeed. In fact, it should give you expertise and two additional skills. If oh, my... Me, sir. oh my god. 
Also, my cantrip's known went up by one, and my spell's known went up by two. I'm not sure if that includes magical secrets or not. Say again? I was reading something. At tenth level, my cantrip's known goes up by one, and my spell's known goes up by two. And I'm not sure if that includes magical secrets or not. That would be including magic smell. There should be a table with spells known and magical secrets does give you two. I'll look into it just real fast. I want to say that you don't usually get two spells known per level, but you do usually get at least one, so. Which is yeah, why I'm which is why I'm personally kinda confused. Unless that one is for some other reason going into my nope, camp. You're uh getting a two spell boost at ten. Apparently they wanted you to feel good about yourself. That might be magical secrets, but it doesn't explicitly state that it is. So, so five extra spells, boys. One of them being a cantrip. I'm going to take the dual wielder, Pete. Not a bad choice at all. Guys, I get the call of my god and ask for assistance. Hey, you! Stop copying me! Wait, does this mean I can have two fifth level spells? But probably. Okay, so the way it works is you choose you it, if you can cast a spell from that spell slot, you can choose all of the spells there. You are pure oh, no. card, is that correct? What he's saying is his class table lists him having two spells this level that he learns. But magical secrets gives him two spells from a different class list. I'm trying to figure out if that is listing the two spells for magical secrets, or he gains two additional bard spells as well. Uh, so magical secrets is a uh, ability of his. Okay, there yes, it is. Yes, correct. <clears throat> I'll apply my expertise real quick, since that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so right now you are getting four additional spells. He gets a can trip as well. But yes. Damn! Don't Man. diss oh, the right. bot. Right, yes. So you get a can trip, and then the other four can be any spells that are from fifth level down. Except for can trips. Can trips did from that. Yes, so it is However, what we've been saying. With the magical secrets, what he's saying those is he candy. gets fifth level spells. Yes, least. you can like, learn. I could, I could literally just put all four of those spell slots that I just got into fifth level. <laughs> yes, which is awesome. Now those aren't spell slots; those are just spells that you can choose from to cast. Yes, yes, those are. Oh. No, Still they're not awesome. spell slots. I, I, that's yes, I'm agreeing with you. I understand that. I okay. just still feel like it's awesome. <laughs> Because that gives that I could choose to like give myself a lot of utility with that, but I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and forego that because I don't want to do stupid things. <laughs> nah. There are also some spells from lower levels that I kind of skipped getting, but now be I can go stupid. Back and get... <laughs> You're with this party. Be as dumb as you want to be. Yes, you know, I got, I got, I got, I got magical secrets now, which means I can basically take two spells from anything. I, I, I want Fireball. a slogan somewhere on our splash page from now on. Fist of Furry, you can be as dumb as you want. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get Fireball. <laughs> yes, channel that inner rage. All right. <laughs> While you select your spells, we will keep moving <clears throat> forward. Any other last questions before we do? Uh. Actually, one last question. I'm sorry, this is still coming from me. Uh, can I use my expertise to... Uh... Oh, wait. Expertise is moving a proficiency up, isn't it? Yes. Okay, never mind then. I'm dumb. I want to know what spells you're actually taking, other than Fireball. I might not take Fireball. Okay. And he doesn't have to tell you. Maybe Moriarty wants to keep it a secret. Okay. I'm, I know. I was just curious. So to recap, which is later than usual, but we had some back end details to take care of. You have successfully cleared the Howling Caves. You've stopped the Air Cult from summoning their 
Demon Prince, Yon C. Bin. You still have three profits to stop. Um, I do have a question. Two, actually. Uh, with dual wielding, do I get my damage bonus on off hands now? Because yes, does... yes, that is the primary advantage of dual wielding. You can draw does both it... weapons as part of the same action. You get the offhand damage, and you get that AC bonus. Yeah, because it doesn't say the offhand damage there, or at least it's not clear about it. I will ask for one spell from you. Moriarty. Oh, uh, what's that? Teleportation circle. Yeah, right, it doesn't list it. Is that a fifth level? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing my cantrip right now real quick, so... Okay. It is indeed a 5th level spell, however, it does have a material requirement. Um. Oh, just rare chalks and inks? I'll buy that for you right now. Nope, precious gems worth 50 gold. Oh yeah, infused with precious gems. I don't know, am I even able to buy that at the kiosk? I mean, there'll be a standard markup, but... Okay, good. You might I'll also buy. see if any of your party members have been hanging on to gemstones worth about that much. I have some gemstones worth about that much. But this isn't just the... The material cost isn't just the gem, it's also sites rare chalks and inks infused with precious gems. Now the issue with Teleportation Circle is it doesn't actually let you choose where you're going in a free manner. Right. It takes you to Anchor Point. Right. What I was thinking was that our Anchor Point could be at our um, at our cart, like inside, the issue the, being you know? there isn't one there. Also, it does have to be on the same plane. The mansion in your cart is a demi plane. Oh, okay. Then. This is the kind of thing you use to link back to a temple where you can get resurrections easily, or maybe the king's palace has one. They are, from what I'm saying here, expensive to set. Oh. So, like, if you're trying to get back to Waterdeep, I'm sure there's some town square somewhere with a magic circle set up in it. I'm trying to get back to Desarn Valley? <laughs> Not likely. Unless you happen to find an old teleportation circle, but the age range there would have to be exact. And unfortunately for you, these runes are fairly well older than the most recent upsets to the weave, meaning anything before the weave changed no longer functions properly. Right. What if yeah, it's not, just not a up. temporary one, like, outside of a dungeon entrance? Just as a quick... Well, not really quick, but, you know, in case we need to get out in a minute or less. Would that be a good use of it? Okay, run that by me again. He wants to know if he can set up a temporary teleportation circle at the entrance of a dungeon, or 
say, your abode here in the mausoleum of Hendrel Thor. Uh, I'd say set it up here and we can always just go back and The down. issue is, even if you get the teleportation circle spell, that doesn't necessarily give you the ability or wealth to create an anchor point. A permanent magic circle, but it... Uh, all it says is uh, raw, uh, rare chalks and inks infused with precious gems with 50... Yes, which uh, you sketch on the ground and then use to teleport away from a place. Yeah, I have 120 GP no, no, no. to... That link your location to a permanent teleportation circle of your choice, whose sigil sequence you know. Not to one that you drew, a permanent circle. These are in major cities. Oh. That, that's the issue here. You don't have anyone powerful enough to make one of these. Oh. Okay. That was... Uh-huh. Okay. And if you read down the spell, it says that the GM gives anyone who learns this two pre-known destinations that they can use. Specifically to make the spell useful once it's paid. Gotcha. Okay. I misunderstood. Which is why we clarify things and ask questions. It's very much meant to be a long-term kind of spell. Instead of a get-out-quick kind of thing. Uh, you'd need standard teleport for that, but that is level 7. And there's a region teleport circle, which on the surface is actually more powerful than teleport, if you ignore the anchor aspect. Uh, it's a fail-safe way to get to a known destination. Oh, oh holy crap, you can learn Raise Dead. Oh, all the things a bard can do. Yes, so many things. Now the <laughs> big kids mocked them in D&D school. Moving on. You have had a long rest. The beds are luxurious and comfortable. Mm. Oh and, and my I, god. I'm telling you, you have never felt a feather mattress this plush. And with the curtains up, you have privacy for once. You can barely even hear Azeroth's... And Moriarty's whines of pain. Azeroth's what? Snoring. You think that big skunk doesn't snore? But once the morning, such as it is in the Underdark, dawns, you all need to decide what you're doing next. Alright, first Tato tilts Azeroth's bed, so that he uh, flumps out. <laughs> don't flump out him. Nim's Too gonna late. go to the uh, golem and uh, buy... Uh, enough diamonds to be, uh, make a total of 300 gold. Okay, normal gratuity fee. So, 315? I'm going to roll a strength check for this. I thought it was 5%. And? 315, not 350. Oh. 315, sir. Uh, I heard 350. What you get for making a statement when the DM's taking a sip of tea. Okay. Oh, well, Tato fails. He can't even lift the bed up. As is tradition. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, at some point or another, Moriarty would wake up with a bit of a gasp and stumble out of bed. He doesn't seem to be the best. Nim's gonna then chew on his, uh, on his chewing stick. Hey, who wants to see me get credited with another natural 20? 
Ooh, that's, uh, that's swelling up, ain't it? Oof. Um, did we even set the bone? You so, didn't. In the tradition <laughs> of things can always be worse, Nim, would you give me an attack roll, please, if you're chewing on your favorite? Uh, I mean, it's magic missile. There is no attack roll. Yeah, but somebody said to think about a 20, and I want to see if it happens. Okay, that's fine. Moriarty, as you stagger out of bed, clutching your maimed left arm close to your breast, a streak of force shoots out of the darkness and strikes you in the rump for three damage. Ah! Well, I gotta say, man, you have taken the most punishment <laughs> from us. And all you've done was just be helpful. It sucks. If you would like, you may of course give me a perception check to try to determine exactly where that came from. Or you can just ask the seal next to you. Uh, also, Tato, um... There are no bones for us to set in his hand. Oh. They're, they're basically powder. Well, oh they're fine splinters, but yes. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, no, he fucked... Like, this... this uh, is... The issue is, you throw a normal hammer at a hand, you might crack a few bones. It, they'll heal crookedly, but they'll heal. But that was a magic hammer that deals additional force damage. <laughs> and it was a crit. Like dropping so a wrecking ball on it. it. It's basically a uh, flesh bag at this point. Oh my oh. god! Yeah, no, it's not pretty. Um, should should we amputate it? That's actually <laughs> like probably a good check. idea. Yeah, as much as I'd like to save it, I don't think there's any saving that. Also, can you take the sleeping status off of me? I guess. I mean, I was going to mm -hmm. leave it up because it was funny. <laughs> you can remove your own effects, by the way. Oh. It's that little winged foot icon on the far right. Uh, on only the if we apply it to ourselves. Point, actually. Otherwise, it's whoever... Whoever Fantasy Grounds believes applied it to us is the one that can remove it. But I believe I applied it as Azeroth, so it might still work. So Azeroth That's could remove it. it. It also depends on the settings, but I haven't dug into that yet. Tato, with that, you know first aid, and you haven't exactly been on as many battlefields as Azeroth claims to have been, but... You've seen your fear of fighting and hunting and injury that could result in either one. In and of itself, it may not be necessary to amputate the hand, but if the swelling doesn't go down soon, or if it starts showing signs of gangrene, or internal bleeding, say, it's kind of a watch it and you may have to amputate or take care of it now. Yeah. You do know that it will never be the same again. Not without magic. Some and really far freaking more powerful good magic. magic than any of you can use. We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I wonder if Azeroth can take you to, I don't know, some kind of grand priest of uh, Tempest to heal. By the way, would I actually not notice the, you know, bolt coming at me from, like, a little over 10 feet away? It's an I mean, if you rolled a 1 on the perception check, no. Also remember that each square is uh, 10 feet by itself, so he'd be about 30 feet away. 25 that, to 30. So... Yeah, that's so an annoying close? feature of these maps. I am... Ooh. Okay. I wasn't sure... Happy to that say that on the next one I fixed it, but on these ones I hadn't before we started, so... I just wanted to make sure that included this map as well, because this was a different map. It does, map from unfortunately. The one I was... Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, these are the two maps I prepared when I was still trying to get things done quickly. The yeah. next one I have readjusted. There's my perception, by the way. Oh, yeah, you know exactly where that came from. In fact, you can see the offending object still within the maw of the wolf. And you recognize a wand. You know what a wand is. He's still chewing why, on it. Why is he chewing on a wand? Dude, if we try to take that away from him, he could bite us, okay? We just kind of let him do what he wants, except when he's putting the mission at risk. Yeah. Why do you tolerate this? You Honestly, ask that as if we haven't tried. Trust me, it, it's it's. When this is all over, I think all all of us are going to part ways. Okay. Eh, I wouldn't say all of us. Get out of my life. <laughs> wow. As long as I'm your grandpa, I have to go back to the Great Glacier. I don't think your grandma wants to fire file for <sighs> divorce yet, so no. Either way, while I was sleeping, I was given knowledge. He says almost questioningly as he looks kind of down at his hand, but then kind of glances away from it. Just Sounds like down. divine insight. Go on. Two songs. One regarding all of you, and one regarding him. He says, glancing over to the skunk. Okay. Was the one regarding him uh, just a slew of insults? No, it's an actual song. They both are. I'm not sure which one I should sing now, though. Hmm. Sing the most lively one. Neither of them aren't terribly lively. Sounds like... prophetic, ominous. Are we all gonna die? Uh, that much isn't clear to me, actually, as is the nature with these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, it still hurts. <clears throat> yeah. I imagine it's like gout, but worse. It's constant pain. Is, is there a way I can just stop feeling this? Um, I mean, we could kill you. A large butcher's knife leaves. Who, who, who does what now? A large butcher's knife, a downright cleaver, gleams prettily upon the table as he mentioned the lack of pain. Uh. Options do exist. Uh. And Nim, can, uh, uh, can, and Nim can do it. He's really good at that kind of stuff. He's great at working meat. No. We should give that a good old no. Alright, but man, if it gets any worse, then we might have to. Yeah, for your own safety. Hey, look, okay? He he pulls up his pants to reveal his, his leg. His metal leg. It happened to me too with these guys. They use too many leeches. Uh... Yeah, I would like let's... to point out that Nim has never done permanent damage to anyone. Aside from death. That's pretty permanent. Nobody in the um, party. And you I know what they say? What we could do is try and find the nearest, uh, I guess, clergy of clerics or priests or something and see if they can do something about it. Yeah. Problem is, is I don't know where they are. I think the fact that it was caused by friendly fire from a cleric of Tempest that maybe the cleric -y of Tempest would subsidize your healing. And they term as clergy. And clergy, I meant clergy. It would depend on the temple. 
<clears throat> yeah, let's not go to the war priests for this, Tato. Would war priests not be well equipped for this? I mean, no, no, they would. I just don't think we'd be able to convince them to do so. Uh, I highly disagree. Can I well, we're not slam? going to accomplish anything by standing around here, so... You should probably get going before it gets any worse. That would require us going all the way back to Mole Master, though. That's, that's not going to happen. There are temples outside of their long paths. I know. Sure, we can find someone something here. Right. Who's breathing into but their mind? <clears throat> and suddenly silence. I didn't hear anyone. I did hear the breathing. It's coming from you, Tato. Oops. Might get Must a have had it too close. Is that better? Right now. Good. All right, awkward silence. Well, uh, I do have the songs of, I guess, prophetic knowledge. I don't know. If you want to hear any of them, or I could keep them to myself, I don't care. Tato passes Moriarty five gold. All right, let's hear him. He takes the gold. Looks on in confusion, but pockets it anyways, somewhat hesitantly. Okay, which one? The one about uh, him, or the one about all of you? Uh, let's say all of us. <clears throat> Alright. Whew. And my headset randomly shut itself off. Oh dear. What did I miss? Uh, Tato handed me five gold, and I'm about to sing. <laughs> oh, joy. <clears throat> if you don't terribly mind the, um, background music. <clears throat> Thank you. down the waves of grand they shall arise to swallow you whole and she will laugh and steal your soul the the water flows. The water flows. All right. Sounds like we're going to get into a lot of trouble with the crushing. That's my interpretation. Oh, yeah. I'm still missing part of my soul. 
Right. It's currently running around as a demon thing. Uh, at right. this point, by the way, Moriarty would lean uh, in a certain direction, kind of almost falling over. Uh, Elysian would be there to help stabilize him. You okay? Uh, yes, I... <clears throat> it is... I felt like I was being pulled there for a second. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I'm all right yet. Um, Bed's right there. Maybe we should take another look at that hand of yours. Uh, all, all right. I should get a sling at some point, by the way. Oh, we can fashion one Why? right now. Your Actually, that was fine. care of the previous day, along with oh. the splinting and bandaging. Oh, yeah, you did splint it. That is right. Oh, never mind. All right. So, um, one of us should probably unwrap these bandages and take a look. Is it infected? I assumed you did that already with your heal check. It's not yeah. showing signs of rot right now. But you know, you're still breathing you into the mic. Out. Right. Same thing as before. Are you feeling feverish? Uh, no, I honestly, besides the hand and pain, feel fine, actually. All things considered, a little shaky. Um, not sick. More like I was being straight up pulled. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> That someone was grabbing me for a second. Um. Uh, you are really gripped by song, I guess. Uh, I suppose so. All right. He glances, he glances off in that direction. A look of mild worry. All right. Um. Uh, is, uh, Azeroth awake yet? He's still just flumped on the ground. No, uh, I, I, I failed my strength check on that. He rolled out of bed himself then, because he's, he's just, he's on the side of the bed, clearly. You can see him. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a matter of his girth. I mean, size. He's, he's a very large skunk. <laughs> yeah, oh. he's, a big, he's a big boy. He kind of sprawls halfway out of the bed. It's, just, it's not wide enough for him. Yeah, he's on a twin size when he's meant for a queen size. He's meant for a California king. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anywho. Uh, <clears throat> so what, 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 what are we... Oh, he just got back? Yeah, I told my mom. We were talking about your size. Yeah. <laughs> How you're flumped over the bed because the bed's too small for you. How have you know that it's mostly fluff? I'm pretty sure smashing a hand proves that's not mostly fluff. Hey. Okay. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Being able to score a very heavy blow against someone. Yeah, man, you're mostly muscle, I think. Now, Elysian. Elysian is very, very floofy. In fact, it makes him look a lot more bigger than he actually is. Tato, you for one should know better. You're skinnier than me, and you have more strength. I'm not that skinny. <laughs> you should never call me skinny. That's oh, rude. My God. You are slimmer. I'm not slim. I'm big. Okay. Well, it's okay. I to never be big. thought I'd you hear somebody. Be 
argue about how they're n how against being not fat. I mean, it's okay if you're skinny, Tato. Nobody's judging. No, it's not okay that I'm skinny. Yes, it hey, is. Keep in mind where he comes from. If you're skinny, you're starved and about to die of exposure to the cold. Yeah, but we're not currently there, so... By his hey, standards of race. Just because it's not an issue right now doesn't change the standards you grew up with. Oh, so I was there for time. Well, I again do have all my fluff. Whatever. Right. Moving things along here. Oh, I As Roth, you are back. Do you need a recap of what you missed and how long were you gone? Uh, we were talking about long rest. After that, so if I um, missed anything from there, ah, uh, you missed the song. Yeah, Moriarty's hand is fragged, and he had a slight hint about maybe where you should go next. No. Also, I, I stated I specifically had a song for you that I got during my premonition last night. Fun. The gods are speaking to him Earthlet. behind your back. Yeah, you want to hear the song that's about you? Like I said, is it full of swears and curse words? I mean, that's what I asked, too. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he asked, and it is, it is not. It's, uh, -oh. uh, it is a song. Mm, I raised my eyebrows. <laughs> <sighs> is that a yes? Oh, sure. All right. At least I got paid for the first song. I mean, I'll pay for his song because it <clears throat> probably help him to know. Grandma says always compensate your part. It's a good piece of advice. Donate to the Moriarty's new hand fund. Oh, sure. Ten gold. <laughs> quick, quick. Uh, uh, take a peek into the note Whoop. that lists Tato's debt. To figure out how much a new hand will cost. I think I accidentally. No, okay, I didn't. Weird. Hold on, <clears throat> mine was an entire leg. That would just be a hand. Yeah, but legs just go yes. clump, clump, clump. Hands have to grip and manipulate. Yeah. Hands are a lot more <laughs> delicate. They're delicate things. Anywho, shall I start on the next song? Alright. To the ends of the earth I'll search for your face For the one that laid all of our beauty to waste Through our hope into hell and our children to the fire I am the one who will crawl through the wire I am the one who will crawl through the wire. I know a cold as cold as it gets. I know a darkness that's darker than cold. A wind that blows as cold as it gets. It blew out a light in my soul. Blew out a light in my soul. I dream in my sleep, I dream in my day. Of some sunny street not so far away. We're up in a window, a curtain will sway. And you and I'll meet down below. You and I'll meet down below. I know a cold as cold as it gets. I fight a war I may never see one. I live only to see you live to regret. Everything that you've done. 
Everything that you've done. Everything that you've done. At first I thought it was a love song, but then it started to sound like a threat. Ah, prophecy. Yep. So malleable. Anyways. <clears throat> With that, I think there are some other things I learned, but uh, mine's still a little scrambled. Yeah. It sounds to be like you just had fever dreams. Wouldn't be surprising. Nonetheless, uh, it's inspiring. The bone message that I had to do. Oh yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, I think we're probably down. Pardon? I said the next part of your song I feel we should get written down, as this is part of the prophecy that I was given beforehand. And you'll see me pull a little bone thing with the little note inside. And I'll put it on the table that is there. He moves to curiously see the note on the uh, bone. How thing. would I share this with I him? will link it. <laughs> okay, let's This say. is the prophecy of Kajor. Man, this works out better than I thought it would. He just uh, reads over the uh, scroll curiously for a second. Hmm. All right, then. Hi. Uh, Nim, you... are you going to be preparing a meal for the group? Of course. I would like a roll. He, he always cooks for the group. He yes, and this helpful. time we have crates full of premium ingredients. How much meat? A lot. Perfect. A perfect indeed. You're getting a bonus on top of the bonus for that. Well, while he's making food, I might as well go ahead and do the gotcha. Okay, if you want to use a stroke of luck on it, you can give me two percentiles. Otherwise, give me a fresh one. So what is a stroke of luck, out of curiosity? Well, I meant the lucky feet, which I, Cinder, recall you picked up. I don't recall picking up the lucky feet. Then I'm just thinking of Xelos. I don't know why I thought you had it. Yeah, no, I am observant mind. and resilient. If you want to apply... No, no, you can't actually apply bardic inspiration to yourself. Never mind. Can, can I get a lucky because I got my hand smashed? Can it be karma from the <laughs> no, world? I I'll, I'll tell you what. If you would like, you can give me a percentile first and call high or low. In an attempt to wrest karmic retribution. Okay. By the way, I also put his hand inside of a gauntlet. Oh, uh, can I have a quick favor? Possibly. Or I wouldn't say quick, just small. Okay. Um, no matter no, I didn't what. Call, but... No, no. I I thought you said I thought you meant I could call afterwards. No, 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 no. You call higher low than your percentile. Go ahead, take oh, it. Okay. Yeah. No matter what, can you tell us uh, what number one on the list is? Mm, no. Oh, even afterwards? If you have to know, I shuffle the list every time. Ah, okay. Nasty. Numerically speaking, I'm going to roll high because I've been rolling low a lot. <laughs> but you know what? I like I like to I like to let it ride. I'm rolling for low. You're in a bit of a low on your life. Right? Ah! Nope. Single roll only. And the gods yet bless the skunk for his prayers to the man of war. So what did I get? Um, 
Are you using the forty-five? I'm use. Uh, well, I mean, if I have a choice, I'm. I'm I called low. And I want to use the forty-five, but after I called low, I got the eighty-three. Okay. Well, those are supposed to be for that you could rest luck from Azeroth. So if you want, you can re-roll, or I'll give you the forty-five. I'm confused as to what's going on, but okay. I'll... You can either take the forty-five or roll a new percentile. How's that? Uh, <laughs> I'll keep the forty-five. Okay. Using your one good hand, you tap away with the instructions of the others, and the wheel spins. And a deck of playing cards drops out. Oh, I have Which like is... five of these already. Not actually listed in the items list. You know, those words have been said by every person who's ever played a gotcha ever. <laughs> What if they're, like, really special, limited edition playing cards? Actually, this is an older set. It's dog-eared and crinkled. Oh. Do I, do I recognize it as anything special? Not especially. It's a playing card set, although looking at it, you think whoever owned it last was cheap. Now, there oh. are specific fold patterns that uh, imply they were watching the cards and using their own deck to, for familiarity purposes. Now, you, you guys said this was a magic machine, right? Anyone? Yeah, this I, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay, then I'm going to go ahead and detect magic on the deck of cards. You're going to cast that as a ritual or just on its own? I mean, it's a cantrip, isn't it? Yeah, he has it as a cantrip. <clears throat> you know what? Apparently the gods do smile on you a little bit. There is a faint sense of magic to it. Huh. What's up? He wanted to give me an arcana check, say. Oh. Well. Let's go ahead and give an arcana check. I am... Kind of hoping this is what I think it is, but also very much not. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not a deck of many. I Actually, said... wait, no. Yes, I do hope. I don't know what kind of deck this is. I haven't even looked at the cards. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and give you that Arcana check, buddy. Oh, I should have gone expertise in Arcana. Unfortunately, it was actually close on my roll. One away from it on the die, percentiles. But it is not a deck of many things. That is a tarot deck. And this is a deck of playing cards. However, they do have a pre-built luck enchantment. In essence, the owner of the deck, which you have now legally attained the status of, <laughs> will always be luckier in the draws than anybody else they play with. Huh. You may call it, in your character sheet, the Cheater's Deck of Playing Cards. Okay, gotcha. Um, I gotta figure out where to put that now. <laughs> I literally had, like, four decks on me, just so I could cheat. Now I've got a deck that does it for me. Damn it! You're a cheater? What? Uh, no? Who said that? All bars cheated now, cards. Out loud. Guys act as if cheating at cards is bad. All bars cheat. Did you know that? You know what? The fact that it came from a cleric, I'm starting to think your broken hand is divine retribution now. All right. Well, that's just rude. Those of you who partake of Nim's breakfast, please let me. I'm going to eat the I mean, food. I mean, Nim will, of course. I will. I've heard three confirmations. What was the question? Who was eating Nim's breakfast? 
Let me rephrase that. Is anybody not eating Nim's breakfast? Good. Everybody who did feels refreshed afterwards. You've had a good night's sleep, a solid meal. You didn't have to go out into the underdark to do your business. You all start out with 12 temporary hit. Except for me. Are you not eating the dog's breakfast? No, I'm, I'm only going to have like nine, though, because I'm... Yeah, but the hit points come after breakfast. When the spell is complete. Yay! Does that mean I heal three from the food and then get the spell? Nope. So I can have temporary hit points on top of being injured? You can indeed. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> yeah, no, I did kind of learn a trick just recently. Now these will last about eight hours. Well, guys, looks like we're fighting something in eight hours. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a trek getting where you're going next. It'll take you about seven hours and 55 minutes. Hello, <laughs> <Well>, guys. <laughs> looks like we're oh, fighting right something. 15 minutes ago, by the way. Damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys, I learned something kind of. Well, I was knocked out half on the bed, apparently. All right, guys, let's make it out of here. No one's going to ask. Fine. Ask what? <sighs> You're not I'm the sorry. one who has prophetic dreams. That's me. Anyways. The thing I learned is if I make a prayer to my god, they may actually grant a wish. Wish for my hand back. Where do you think I was going with all this? God. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> I don't know. So there's a chance. A chance. If you would like to entreat Tempest to heal the dishonorable wound gained by your bard, <laughs> give me a caster level check. In the tower, if you please. Yeah, totally. And also, totally. let me know exactly how you're praying, because that will uh, determine the results. We need to get an altar. We need to get everything. Well, I mean, the altar could be the tomb of this guy. That works well enough. And I also have my focus, my gem, so, ha -ha. which also should help with prayer. Actually, performing it in the presence of the immortalized remains of Hendrel Fulbreaker, a mighty warrior of his time, it will improve your reception. <clears throat> yep. And, uh... And you're gonna have to tell me what a caster check is, unfortunately. No idea what that is. Uh, it's, it's basically a check that's based on your caster level. And where would I find my caster level? What level are you? Making sure it's actually a uh, thing in 5th edition. Sorry, I have it's no idea what that really, is. not really, but I mean, it would just be a bonus of 10. Yeah. Uh, basically, roll me a d20 with a bonus of 10. Okay. Uh, no, duh. Grab the one. Here you go. Just add 10 to that. Okay, I'm still waiting for the prayer. Oh, you want me to. Also, you can add custom modifiers. It's in the bottom left. Hmm. Please don't be lazy. Bottom left. Oh, yes, oh, right underneath okay. the chat, right there. You can type in custom, or you can just do like oh. the plus two, minus two, plus five. I'm... Oh, cool. Well, I never really used it before, except for that one time. The advanced advantage. Adjusting? Should I type in 10 now? No, you've already made your roll. I'm waiting for the prayer. Um. Uh... Oh, you want me to verbalize it? Hmm. You give, give I'm gonna make you play. actually role play for this. Come on. My gosh, it's okay. almost like you don't like playing a role playing game. Oh my goodness, it's almost as if I've never really had to play one before. Anyways. Oh my gosh, it's almost like <laughs> why are you even here? <laughs> here, Mr. Professional. You had to start somewhere. Uh. Hmm. Oh, this is your okay. Gotcha. Never mind then. 
Hmm, what I go about? Let's all join hands as we contact the living. <laughs> no, that sounds too... Too other bardly. I mean, other... other... Yeah, nah. you, you missed it. Join hands. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyways. Hmm. Can I give him a bardic inspiration? <laughs> Because at this point he needs it. Yeah, I know. Um, hmm. Yeah, you can do that actually. Go ahead, do it. It's not gonna help you with this uh, role play. You never know what it may help. <laughs> I know it's it's definitely not gonna help with the role play, but like it might improve the it, results. It does. As, yeah. as, as far as my bard the is concerned, the real question is: Can Moriarty make himself give the skunk? That maimed his hand, inspiration. You know what? I'm more focused on the outcome of getting my hand back, so yes! See! Good you guys answer, are sir. all unwilling to take a random chance when the outcome of it could be something good. Anyways, whatever. Now, if someone happened to roll a one, it doesn't matter what. <laughs> Wouldn't that mean his assistance does nothing? Or... Oh, not in this game. A one is always worst result. Well, I hope you don't roll the well, one. Well, you've already there. rolled, so please, please continue. Oh, he did? No, I didn't. No, you've rolled. The Bardic Inspiration is you adding a D8 to the D10. Result. It's a D10 now. D10 now? Oh, somebody got bigger <laughs> Like, I... Like, level 10 for the Bard is, like, the best thing ever. Jeez. <laughs> Do the roll. I... Hmm. You want me to just roll the 10 myself, or...? Mal? No, no, it, it, it's his roll. It's ten. Okay. Oh, I have to roll. His to luck, his you roll standing with the dice gods will determine the outcome. I, 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 I uh... Oh, wait, I rolled the d10 plus ten to that. Whoops. And you just rolled the d12. And I rolled the d12. My fault. Moriarty starts to hum some sort of, uh, you know, religious hymns that he knows uh, would that would probably go somewhat good with. Uh, mm. With his it's religion. a martial theme. You can almost visualize armies clanking into battle, clashing across the battlefield. It's very upbeat. You can hear the trumpets blowing, even though there are no actual instruments playing. Uh, okay, okay, then. Let's try this, then. Uh, oh, Great Tempest. The leader of all great battles that have come and are yet to have come. We call upon you now to help upon a fellow warrior that you may guide him to the battlefield once more, fully prepared for the battles to come. Haha. -ha. That sound. Not bad. Could have been longer, but not bad. Oh my gosh. He did also call Tempest Tempest, which uh, doesn't. <laughs> and uh, when you roll a perception what? check for the god to notice whether or not this subject is a warrior. There is no miraculous ray of light, and there is no booming of a god's voice lifting the cripple uh, nature of the hand from Moriarty's poor mortal frame. However, there is a lessening of that pain. It feels as though the flesh is knitting around the shattered bones. And maybe the hand is aligned just a little bit better. Uh -huh. the swelling goes down a bit. It's still not usable. It's still not going to grip anything anytime soon. But it is far less painful. It no longer feels like a thousand needles are trying to force their way out of your skin. Huh. That's better. Okay, your god doesn't hate you. No, uh, there is, not. however, a ringing noise in Azeroth's ears for the next hour. Penalty to auditory perception. Fun. Almost as though you were wearing a helmet and somebody struck it with a hammer. That's how you get tinnitus! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Meep! Meep! 
All right. I will go ahead and take those three wound off of you. Yay. It won't matter, but yay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get out of here. All right, yes, let's get going. This has been a nice place, but uh, we should come back. About to say, with daily prayers and stuff I do with him and the offering. Wait, how much is it for another spin on the gotcha, real quick, before we go? And no, no one has actually asked that. It's 15 gold to spin the gotcha. Um, I want to spin it again with the funds that I just received. <laughs> okay. I, I did. I hadn't actually added their gold to my sheet, so I, I assume it just instantly goes into the machine. Well, Unless one I of mean, you guys dragged your gold into me. Oh no, he used it once! Well, everyone now needs to add the, the 200 problem. gold manually, although Tato, it's 180 for you, remember. I already did it. So You received 200 gold from Elysian's Benevolence. Yay! One five, mind, to spend the gotcha. I also, well, I'm, I was paid 10 and then 20 for my Bardic songs. So Right, right. So you have uh, 30 gold right there. So yeah, I'm going to do two spins there and just keep the 200. <laughs> I'll spin the first one first. Yep. Oop. Well, ah, I keep picking it up and then trying to right click. So there's one. There's two. Well, unfortunately, as you click it the first time, the little price icon goes up to 30. What are you trying huh. to buy now? Oh, so every this time he gambles, it costs more? Uh, for that roll of 28, a 20 crossbow bolt clatter. That's for my weapon. If you actually want to spend the 30 gold on top of the first 15, I'll give you that second. Okay, fine. I'll do that. But let me add the gold first so I can mathematically calculate this all out. <clears throat> so I was given 200. That's 709 minus another 15, which would be nine da, 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 minus 6, which would put me at 694 gold. Yep, all calculated. Give us the 58. Good sir. Good sir. Uh, the 58 will have a mundane but nicely tooled leather belt pouch. Huh. I kind of picked the crossbow bolts up. Going to detect magic on that and probably on the belt pouch as well. Neither of them are magical, but okay. the bolts are standard issue. Looks like they've been engraved with the or a maker's mark out of Baldur's Gate. The pouch was it's still stiff and brand new and only has some not designs worked into it. Nice dark leather. Oh, it's just a base pouch? pouch it's it's just a basic belt pouch. Plus one pouches. Plus one pouches. I put my pouch inside the other pouch. Oh, God. <laughs> a uh, hole to... No. A hole to another pouch opens up and you drop the pouch. I would like to try my luck at this machine at random. Does anyone else want a pouch or some crossbow bolts? I don't exactly use a bow. I use crossbows. I shall. Awesome. You have yet to mention ever recovering a bolt, so you probably need them. Yeah, yeah they're right there in the machine. I'm sorry, I'm just not using them. With this uh, pouch. Uh, how many bolts is that, by the way? Is it 20? 20 in a packet. Okay. I shall would you, 20. Would you pocket. like a pouch? He offers the pouch to Nim. Where am I going to wear this? He doesn't use it. I mean, he's a quadruped. He doesn't really shoot anything. I mean, there's plenty of, you know, belts and armor on you. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Oh! Nim, Nim, use your wings now. Can you fly? 
I want to see you fly. Oh my god. Before he does that, I'm going to gamble. I can only use it so many times. Uh, I can only use it once a day for an hour. Oh, never mind then. Yeah. yeah we'll save it for something truly epic. Thief friend, would you like a pouch? Uh, I think I'm good, but I'll take one anyways. Always yeah. good to have more. Azeroth, if you are spinning the gotcha, I think it was Azeroth. Deduct mm. 15 gold and give me a percent. Well, I didn't do my first free one yet. Oh, in that case, never mind. Give me a percentile. On the board or in the castle? <laughs> oh, okay. Board is fine, it changes every time. That is the second 77 we've had, though. Do I have to roll again, or...? No, I'm just saying. Ooh, lucky number 77 this time, though. You get a potion of greater heal. Oh. Ooh! Uh, that means I have two potions um, of greater healing. The safety seal has been broken, though. The what now? Oh. So now I have to do it again, but with 15 gold each, and then it goes up every time. Yes. Hey, the price hey. goes up by 15 gold every spin. It might reset eventually. Well, Hall, we talked Very about nice. this. No yeah. breaking seals. <laughs> I didn't break the seal. The previous owner who pawned it off did. Or maybe it was they, a store return. Who knows? They broke the, the ways of wall. I mean, Greaves Mart are uh, mysterious. Okay. Ah. I'm gonna spend 15 gold and roll again. Yay! Roll, roll, roll. And Let's move this along good. a little bit, though. Okay. Well, I just already threw it down, so. <laughs> Man, I'm just good against 70 apparently. Uh, well, there is a loud clunking this time, as the machine rattles a bit trying to spit out the item, and eventually oh, a. Well, it's a mining pick. Jumps out of the chute. Hmm? I have to kind of wiggle it a bit to get it out. It's not made for items this long. Okay. What am I going to do with a mine axe? A pick mine. Moriarty, can you cast Detect Magic on this? Please? Uh, certainly. There you go. One miner's pick. Question. Is it a magic miner's pick? Zim Zella Bim is nope. a magic Zim. But it does weigh 10 pounds. Whoa. I'm gonna no. sell it <laughs> for 10 gold. No <laughs> way, back man! Into the chute. Uh, uh, and the uh, sell it, screen man. flashes what? an error message no returns for 48 hours. Okay. Oof. Eh, no big deal. I'll just Picks like it. this make their own money, man. Otherwise, in my inventory, I can just drag it. Right, it'll be there. Yeah, I could. Okay. Well, I guess I'm holding on to this for a while. At least I don't have any of that other junk on me. <laughs> I can now hold three bars. All right. Uh -huh. I recommend we get moving so we can make some progress here. We have two hours left. Hi, hi. Yeah, we just spent two hours in this one room. It is a very cozy room now. Yes, it is. So as a group, you need to decide where you are going next. Um, uh, up and out. Where's the nearest uh, person who practices medicine? Person who practices medicine? Uh, within the room? Person okay. who could heal your hand? Probably several weeks away in Waterdeep. Now, by the way, what are we doing with this guy? This is kind of just poking the Howling Hatred priest or former Howling Hatred priest. I don't know. What are you doing with her? I poke her with a stick. <laughs> well, now give me a perception roll as you do so. That there's a priest trying to summon the end of the world. I'm going to poke it with a stick. Yep. Yes, uh, they are constantly pushing control of fleet. Uh, she's faking it. She's not actually. At this point, she shouldn't. Yeah. Okay. 
You see her wince slightly as you poke her with the stick, but she pretends to snore anyway. It isn't hey, very Nim? convincing. Nim, can you pass me a hot pepper, please? Sure. Thanks. I stick the hot pepper in her mouth. Wait, 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 wait. To clarify, are you actually getting a fresh pepper from the supply crate? Or yes. are you using the chef's grade hot oil? Oh, I'll use the chef grade hot oil. Oh, dear. <laughs> Down the hatch. She gets a mouthful of hot oil. Dead. That wakes her up. Clearly, succinctly, and incoherently. As you push her mouth <laughs> open and pour a few drops of oil into it, she sits thoughts upright and screams <laughs> at the top of her lungs. There is a pitcher of water, we will say, on the table. Scrambling towards it, she bends it over her face, trying to get as much into her mouth as she can. <laughs> But if any of you have ever actually had something hot and tried to drown it with water, you will know that doesn't work. <laughs> Tato's like, Tato's on funny. his ass laughing now. Tato, no, that's... that's very weird, man. <clears throat> At least save that for the torturing. Good grief. <laughs> Tato, you are immobilized by laughter, but unfortunately it's a fear effect, and she makes a book for the... Moriarty, according to the map, you are close enough that if you wish, you can make a reflex save to catch her with one hand. Uh, sure. Uh, would you like just dexterity, or...? Yes. Aren't I'm I sorry. close enough I'm to being on front of the machine? A GM half the time, so... Give me a dexterity saving. Gotcha. I'd play uh, Pathfinder with you. That'd be cool. Yeah, no, d don't get me wrong. I normally do Pathfinder too. So I'm I guess just saying, if I, if I slip the tongue, reflexes, dexterity, fortitude, this constitution. Uh, you won't quite be able to grab her, but you will slow her down with that. Uh, basically, you grab at one arm and she twists away and staggers a bit. And she is at the door, getting ready to and leave, I... and panting wow. and gasping and wheezing through her teeth. I can help. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, Azeroth, throw your hammer at her. That'll knock her down. <laughs> <laughs> I will do it, so help me goodness. Do you want to roll? Oh, you're you're gonna gonna play. Play. Is this a, um, by the way, is this a, like, magical fire that's going on in her mouth? No, it is entirely mundane. Okay, gotcha. But that doesn't make it any less painful. Yeah, no, I gotcha. Yeah. What would you say the Scoville rating was for that sauce? Uh, let's just say that they don't legally sell to pedestrians. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a thing, by the way. Restaurants have access to levels of oil that are not sold on the open market. If you're giving me that attack roll, I do need it. Or if you should say, if you're throwing the hammer, I do need an attack roll. Is he throwing the hammer? No, I'm not He's... throwing a hammer. Okay, then what are you guys doing? I told him I was going to help you grab her. Do you like throw a hammer? Remember, you're not doing anything. You're just standing there staring at me like a lump. Oh my... So I said I would help assist in grabbing her, and you said throw the hammer at her. So what do you want to, for me to do to help assist in catch stopping her? I mean... And in what way are you helping to assist in the capture of this individual? I'm I will guessing, help grab them too. I'm guessing what he's doing, it, so, just to make it with more logical sense, is that she ran past me, I tried to grab her, slowed her down, and then he would probably move towards the door to try and either block or grab her again. I was going to say, if you want to try and grab her, that will be a grapple check. What is a grapple? It's basically a melee attack that you probably don't have training in. Or it's the yeah, it's a melee attack rule. Uh, some people get bonuses too. They want to say, I don't know. The rules are weird in every edition of whatever game. So for me to reach out and grabbing somebody, it's considered a grapple attack that I can completely fail at reaching out and grabbing. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So sad. Oh well, whatever. Well, I mean. What do I roll? 
just a 20 then. So I don't... Uh, Roll your strength. It doesn't say that you need proficiency in it, so it's basically your... A strength-based attack roll from you against her, either escape artist or athletic. So I will roll strength in the tower? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it's a combat effect. You could have rolled it in the open, but you have okay. a 19 total. Which is actually pretty good. She might not manage this. She does not. You manage to grab her by the arm and firmly hold her in place. No. She is struggling against you, but she's also going weak from the burning in her mouth. She can't concentrate on anything else. She can't breathe right now. Thank you. <laughs> Neither can Tato. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, I did sell all my honey meat, didn't I? Oh, well, I can't give her that. Here, I'll give her a water skin. I'll help her get some water. Uh, if you offer a water skin, she will take it and dump the entire thing into her mouth. But again, it doesn't help. It won't help, but at least she'll feel somewhat better while we stop her. She needs... <laughs> she... <laughs> She uh, he's trying to get the words out, but he can't because he's laughing so hard. Man, man. <laughs> she she she... Any chance we have of convincing her not to do anything get out the window. She <laughs> she needs milk. Well, Tato, <laughs> since you gave her the hot pepper, find some milk. <laughs> you remember the last milk fetch quest we had? If, if oh some God! Of this somewhere. I mean, we were told this the place was stocked up with everything. It's okay. It's okay. I have some right here. <laughs> Are you going to give her the nightmare milk? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Hey, no, here you go, milk. No, Drink don't this, you dare. It'll, feel, it'll make you feel better. <laughs> no, you didn't dare give her the nightmare milk. We're it's trying too to late. I'm already. Would you give me a bluff we check, want please? Her help. Uh, uh, I think this torture think totally session here. has gone on long enough. Tato, we want her help, not to make her fucking not do anything for us. Can, Shut can up! This is fun. <laughs> can, can, Tato, can we have him roll? Give me a deception check. Have him roll it at disadvantage because he's laughing while doing it. <laughs> Have a disadvantage oh, here's the thing, though. She'd be at disadvantage because she's desperate anyway, so they'll cancel each other out. What about us telling her that it's not something for her to drink? It doesn't matter. Everyone just going, well, no! This check, she reaches for it immediately and starts glugging it down. Unfortunately, there is apparently a chemical reaction in this, and when she spits the milk out, some of it's on fire. <laughs> well, she's not helping us now. Probably. And she appears to have taken a bit of damage from it herself. <laughs> Sparks are issuing from her mouth every time she pants out. Her eyes are wide and bloodshot. And squeeze them. Her clothes are to squeeze the tears out that are just running down her cheeks. Man, um, I didn't know Tato got off on shots. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, with a uh, natural one on that constitution saving throw, she was unconscious again. Anyway. Just, the pain is so much, she passes it. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is a roll to punch Tato in the head. Use your hammer! I would like to refer the group back to the comment made before the game that we don't have any good characters left. This is like I said, this was used to punch Tato on the head. Use the hammer! Yeah, I just told him to stop. I, we and all I'm stop. definitely telling Grandma so that he gets punished. <clears throat> there was no time to play good cop, bad cop, because someone just decided to unroll the bad cop all over them. <laughs> Even after he gets punched in the head, he's still laughing. <laughs> I just imagine him sprawled out. All right, floor. your uh, your prisoner is once more comatose, and time is ticking. Right. <sighs> Between the gotcha and this episode, it will have taken about half an hour. Horrible. Oh god.
Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there goes our interrogation prisoner. She's still here! It'll we just be a little can. longer. Uh, Maybe for like, go to back and Tato. Tato, it's not the fact. She won't answer anything if she thinks we're going to kill her or torture her again. Why not? We can make him uh, answer. We have ways of making her talk. Um, roll yeah, to fair. backhand Tato. <laughs> okay, Ooh, you got a critical. <laughs> Give us a crit card! <laughs> Give us a crit card. Watch as Tato, like, loses his snout now. Yeah, do it. <laughs> backhand it. Uh, Mahal, would you like it from the... Oh, Player fuck no, take it from the player's deck. <laughs> I'm not giving them a light shift when they hit the, each other. What type of damage? Uh, it's a backhanding, so it's a melee physical, I think. Bludgeoning. <clears throat> oh, with his hand? Okay. I mean, yeah, that makes sense, because it's not... It can't be slashing or piercing. It was a slap, not a punch, but okay. <laughs> it was bludgeoning. It's brunt. Force trauma. It is. Yep. Oh. F <laughs> what? I gotta Two. hear this. This is the exclusive card. Oh! I crave death. Give it to me. <laughs> Roll yeah, a we're d twenty. Okay. Go on, Zim. Uh, I'm waiting for the D20. Oh, was that roll Elysium? a D20. Elysium rolled a 20, not me. Yeah. No, no, he, he means the, to clear the crit. Oh. No. I need a D20. You need D20. to roll a 20 to determine the effect you, of this. Yes. Oh. The special card has another 20. The target loses hit points equal to half of its current total. <laughs> you slap that shit out of the table. Okay, Tato, uh, Tato gets smacked backhanded so hard <laughs> that he that he's like over here by the hearth now. Warrior, well, he just kind of like backs away, kind of scared. And Tato, like, your temporary hit points have been drained, and you have thirty-seven wound. To, uh, Elysian's kind of staring at his hand and then looking back at Tato, then at his hand. Uh, well, yeah, I same. mean, I didn't mean to hurt you that bad, but I'll take uh -huh. it. He, uh -huh. Tato's just dumbstruck. He, he's oh. not saying anything now. Maybe he's Tato is saying little starfish circling above his head right now. But I'm going to point out, haha, see, I told you. It's not like I was trying to hit him with smash his hand with my hammer. Maybe we should all stop hitting each other. This is only <laughs> going bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, Elysian would go to take the prisoner, then gently bring them over to lie on his bed. Moriarty checks up on the farm girl. Go and give me a quick medicine roll. Uh, who? Uh, or whatever the hell it's called in this one. Which one of us? And whoever is checking on the farm... Or, are you checking on the farm girl? Sorry, I was yes. only half... Uh, well... She should still be healthy, shouldn't she? Yeah, I was gonna say, she doesn't need it. I assumed you were checking on the priestess, sorry. Uh, somebody was messaging me, and like a very bad person, I was trying to help them instead of helping you. I apologize. It's okay. You hurt my feelings. Nerys well, you... is kind of backed into a corner right now, staring at Lysian. Uh If you approach her, <laughs> she will look at you with wide, haunted eyes and whisper, I always thought he was the nice one. We have no good characters left. <laughs> I am a nice one. I'm, puni I'm giving corporal punishment to my grandson for being a mini butt. <laughs> it's true. He does have permission to do this. Oh my goodness. Uh, I it's like not to point like out. I'm backhanding him because I want to. It's because he deserves punishment for 
nearly for possibly fucking up our next I'm, few days. It wasn't like I threw my hammer at him because I wanted to. I'm calling right. child support. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there is a communication device built into the market kiosk if you would like to make the call. Nine one one. It is fine. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <clears throat> I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, um, Elysian would go to uh, take a little bit of water and gently splash it on the on the prisoner's face. Unfortunately, I not one that constitution save, so she's out cold. Oh. Uh, if you are interested, your diplomat, Desena, is also awake this morning. She is sitting mm -hmm. delicately at the table, picking over the remains of her breakfast. Picking at it? I thought it was a well-made... <laughs> she's a noble. They pick at their food. Uh, wait, we have at a noble? At Nerissa's comment, Desena looks over and sniffs. And commoners must always be shown the error of their ways. I'm sorry, what? Commoners must always be shown the error of their ways. What do you mean by that? That you had the right to chastise the... seal. Yeah. No, she's right. Oh, she's right, but she's right in the wrong kind of way. I didn't chastise him because he's common. I chastised him because he's my grandson. And How weird is that? Like you, who have that kind of mentality, don't like. So please don't refer to him as a common again. Uh, she will sniff out your statement and go back to her food. We should uh, get heading out, shouldn't we? Yes, we One should. Think. This place is cozy. I don't know. I think it just got a little tense. Let's get out. Also, my head hurts. My face hurts. Uh, well, we have to should try to get some information out of her beforehand. Well, she's out cold. Just that we'll carry her with us a bit more. Yeah, I'll yeah. carry her. How about that? No, no. I'm not gonna do anything. I don't care. At this point, Fine. I don't think she'll tell us. Fine. I don't think she'll tell us anything. I'm going to carry the prisoner now. I get the Fine. feeling the only way to get information out of her now is to torture it out of her. Unfortunately, Ugh. I don't know. I could probably still salvage this. But we'll have to see when she wakes up. I mean... Make her, think, make her think it was a nightmare. It was just a prank, bro! Oh my goodness. It was just a prank! Do you Come want on, to go chill tell Grandma that you have now become a prankster? You tell her whatever you want, Grandpa! <laughs> I'm an adult, I don't live in her house anymore. I, I, I don't think you, you ever You act as house. if she wouldn't then immediately punish to. Shit. Alright. Where are you people going? Let's get this road going. Yeah, finally. Um, Alright. We can't... I can't get lost... Blah, we can't get lost in the Underdark anymore, no matter what. Unless by magical means now. So, um... What's the way out? Uh, the, the way out is... Right I don't there. remember. That door. Oh, it is seriously just the way out is north. It's a staircase leading up into that dwarven temple. I thought okay, we were going but... to. That's so we're done exploring this area in general. We're leaving. Yeah, no, we have to move on to the next place. Okay, cool. But as you try to go up the stairs, you get a little message that pops up on your head. Are you sure you want to leave? You still have a jet or a, a mission left in this. Let's see. What mission so. do we have left? We missed That's one of the only mission you have. Yeah, we kind of didn't do the thing we were supposed to. What's that? I Something will about... remind you because we have taken quite a bit of time getting to where we are. All of the cults have 
bases connected to this section of the Underdark. We've only interrupted, I think, three out of the four. You've encountered, or you've disrupted one of the four. Oh. Uh, you've encountered people from all of them down. So they are all around. Oh. Yeah, we've. I thought the others are. Okay, so we should probably. There's... Say, can that map find. Uh, can that Underdark thing find uh, altars? I see no reason why it would. Hold on, you're telling me we we need to stay down here and still be down here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Crap. Uh, okay. That's how I feel too. Yeah, this place is hell. But we haven't discovered if I I'm gonna remind everyone of the thing. We haven't done checked up two or three areas up here yet in this top area. And there was this big section downstairs that we said the hell with because we wanted to get up here so bad. Yeah, because we need to get up here and just Well Recover. yeah, we need to secure Recover. the prisoners that we had air court that we had rescued. And now we gotta bring this one back with us. Yeah, so they said something about the weapons corresponding to something. I forget. Yes, the weapons are the keys to... Are both the keys and the locks to the elementals that we need to stop the summoning of by stabbing the keys, altars yes, with them. Yes, the lock would be the node that the weapons were attuned to. Moriarty begins to, begins to stagger again, going in a very specific direction again. Hey. Yes. Something's pulling me again. Let's see where it leads. <laughs> yeah. That's good to me. Let's follow. Let it pull you. Uh, we'll be right here. We'll make sure nothing happens. I don't like this happens. idea. You will? I love we'll, this idea. We'll kill it. I'll I'll let the I'll let the GM move me just for proper so I don't mess this up. Oh no, no, give me the thing your character. Uh, you, you're you're seeing, you, you, you you said yeah, you 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 said it's, it's something I'm getting pulled. He's letting it pull him is what he's saying. Yeah. So like if I if I continue in the direction of the pulling, what where, where exact like I don't know to the degree of that direction if it's like just straight on or if it's like more toward Oh, okay. Okay, that could have been clearer. And that could have been clearer, I do apologize. Okay, well, it's, uh, 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 I can't, apparently it's less of actually being physically pulled, and more of, I know where to go, I guess, I think. I don't know. Something's no. going on. Don't say I guess, say I know, and just go in that direction with all the okay. positivity you can muster. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over here. Uh, uh. Staircase. Remember to look up. <laughs> look up. Oh, yeah. And there are a can... dozen grill hanging from the... No. <laughs> uh... I assume to... everybody's following. Nim's chewing on a stick. Yeah, Nim will follow. No, he stopped chewing on his wand while he was cooking. Wow, it, okay, thanks. Why is that that direction? What? Okay, cool. Never, uh, apparently... Uh, basic cardinal directions. Yeah, no. No, I mean, it's not... It technically because... there's a compass down on the corner of the map, but I have that hidden from you. Oh, wait, no, they are. You, you've almost been to where it is. Here, I'll, I'll unveil the compass for you. How's that? That, that works. <laughs> There, uh, you can't see it, but the compass has been unhidden. Ah, I can see it. God, anyway, yes. It... Moriarty has a sense of where you need to go from his prophetic dream. Onward and upwards, into the darkness. I have no idea where I'm going. 
I love how he's charging on ahead with none of you behind him. I am. I'm behind him. And it's hard. Well, to your main out. scout's missing, and nobody's mentioned uh, scouting order. So, death beckons. <laughs> it has broken. I'm gonna re-roll the new character, guys. <laughs> I mean, death beckons could probably sum up our party pretty much. <laughs> You can feel free to leave Xelos uh, comfortably where he is for now. We can move him down when we need him. Instead of somebody having to remember to drag him. But party's not taking Neris or Desena with them. Hauling the unconscious cult. Uh, yeah, no, that girl? I, 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 carrying, I, yeah. I will carry the dead girl. I mean, the unconscious. Uh, are, are, you, are you actually carrying the unconscious cultist? Well, I mean, we still need her for interrogation, don't we? I recall... Yes. I recall Elysian specifically saying that he would be carrying her. Yeah, I would, I but that. I wouldn't object to Azeroth do it as long as it's not the seal. Uh, can we get the orb in here, by the way? Well, that oh, would yeah, be the up drift to the light. orb owner, but I would hope you'd have a source of light. Of course. Hey, orb owner, can you can we have that source of light? Can you can you keep that with us? Wait, so Moriarty's where'd it go? of we'll call it story. He, he feels something in this direction that is impactful to uh, the great lore of the bards. Leads you through the mushroom forest and southeast down those stairs. As usual, the distance between caverns is often larger than it appears, and you walk for a good half hour before you reach anything. I but lost as little you near the end of the sloping or the downward sloping section of the tunnel, you begin hearing the sounds of rushing water. And Tato, you are obviously more familiar with this than the others. Hey, this reminds me of a song. Uh... Ooh, looks nice. At the end of the passage, a longer cavern opens. Within it is a swiftly moving stream, which, if you approach it, you can see ends in a waterfall. It crashes down into a pool, which then moves deeper underground. I think we found our rushing water part of the song. Yep. The steps along the western edge of the pool lead to an overlook along that edge of the basin. Now you notice I've been moving the uh, the area around. That's my drift. I think, uh, though we do have a little drift globe icon somewhere. I lost it. Um, yeah, gone. you did lose it. Where did it go? Is it under a bed, the... maybe? In any event, we'll uh, get you a new one when we get where we're going. Your sense of direction, Moriarty, is pointing straight down into that pool of water. Ah. Guys, we gotta... We... Say again? It wants me to jump. Uh, let no, me go I first. A bad idea. <clears throat> now, the seal going first is a great idea. As long as there's nobody to drown. Can I, like, casually, like, shove? Uh, you Can cut I... off with shove and casual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, could I just casually shove him off? That, 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 that was the... Uh, that, that I was mean... the... Technically, he'd have a roll to resist if he, uh, I think it'd be a bull rush attempt, so... Uh, I mean... Similar to a grapple, you make a melee attack roll against him, and he counters with either athletics or acrobatics. It, it's more of me just kind of, like, placing a hand on his back, and then pushing. <laughs> Less of me charging him. In title, he would like to resist. They'll have an opposed roll if you're just going to jump anyway. Feel free. I'm gonna jump anyway. Uh, I'm gonna roll with athletic, I mean, with um, acrobatics to to do a nice dive. Do a flip. 
do a nice flip and dive, sure. I don't even know how steep this water is. I'm hoping for shallow water so that I can die instantly. <laughs> oh god. Death beckons! If you're jumping from where you are, I will need an athletics check to swim, but you do, of course, have advantage on it. Or at least you have advantage that will cancel out any armor you're wearing. I don't remember if you have anything heavy enough. Mm. Yeah, I get disadvantage normally. So yeah, if you click the advantage, it should automatically cancel out the disadvantage. Okay, so I'm just going to roll it as it is then. Well, no, if you click advantage, you should be getting disadvantage automatically from your demon. Well, you don't have it equipped. That's the problem. There you go. You have the demon scale half plate. Yes. So it's equipped now. It should automatically, except it didn't. Weird. Doesn't matter. That's enough of a roll. You actually dropped the same number anyway. Huh. That you are able to resist being pushed under by the waterfall. It seems the pool's about 15 to 20 feet deep where you are, although it shallows out to 10 feet deep after the waterfall. Alright. Um, what do I see underwater? My vision is much clearer underwater. Mossy stones, for the most part. Uh, this is a subterranean pool. There is nothing terribly unusual, except that it looks like at some point steps were carved into the bottom of the channel leading down slope. The water flows out through another tunnel. There is just enough clearance for people to swim and still breathe. And it rushes onward from there. Not the fastest river you've seen, but it's not sluggish either. Cool. Um, would Tato happen to see any dropped items down here? The current is swift enough that anything not overly heavy would be carried away. Oh. Well. And I guess I'll climb back up. Uh, I'm up how? Oh. Yeah, there's a bit of a cliff can't. there. Crap. It's about a 20 foot drop from the edge to the water. Is there any fish? There might be some fish. You want to go hunting? Eh, I'll just go and snap one at one. Kind of give me a survival check, we'll say. Actually, no, I don't. you don't need to give me a check. You're a ranger. You can gather your own damn food. You can find a few small ones to snack on. There's nothing large here. It would be no more than a mouthful. I just bite down on one. Numb. All right, guys, the water is great. There's a tunnel down here. So it's deep enough to jump in? Yeah. OK. You know, I think the song says something about drowning. So I have to, I have second thoughts. Oh, well, you're the one who pushed me in. You were going in anyways. I mean, if it makes you feel better, I'll come along. Let's drown together. Let's do it. Go, go, party suicide pact. Yeah. Okay. Is anybody refusing to jump in? And if not, how are you handling your unconscious prison? Actually, can Mari already Why didn't swim? we leave the prisoner behind? Well, we were worried she would escape. To be fair, we had, I mean, no one really even tried to tie her down. I have plenty, uh, of, I have plenty <laughs> of rope. We could have done that easily. Well, we can always go back. We could have mummified her with how much rope we've got. 
I mean, don't we just how about we just tie her up here, kind of casually like put her against the wall and put some rocks over her so nothing sees her. Ugh. Maybe yes. paint her like a cake. No. I mean, if you want, I'll carry her back and tie her up. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're five years away from where we were previously. An Maybe hour long trip. Yeah, just if you, if you want to walk for an hour by yourself, that's more than fine by me. Split the party! No, 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 no sorry. What well, did you just say? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, pretty much that. No, don't, don't split the party. Well, I mean, unless Tato finds something over there, I think this may be just another dead end. I said I found a tunnel! Oh. Look, I'll even Kim's gonna light jump it up with in, my drift club. Along with Silver. And those who are jumping in, please give me athletics checks to move away from the water. Lazian, you move out from the water adroitly. You're not exactly a seal in water, but you have practiced strokes and managed to escape the downward push. Nim and Silver, unfortunately, are both shoved under the torrential fall and trapped there. Tato will help them out. Okay. Which one are you helping first? I'll help Silver first, then Nim. Okay, Silver, give me a fresh athletics roll, as the seal helps you away. With Tato's help, Silver manages to successfully move away from the water. And it does take Tato's help. Nim, give me a new roll as well. Is everybody else staying up above? Yeah, I'm not watching them drown. Now, after scrabbling along the bottom for a few moments, Nim manages to force his way out, but he is panting and very much wet dog. Ew, wet dog smell. You guys are, you are stinky. That said, unless you are actively swimming against the current, you will begin to be carried away towards that tunnel entrance. Oh. I'll be trying to keep from that. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna slowly let the body of the unconscious person, you know, drift in the water because, you know, that's what they do. Bodies float on their own, natural buoyancy and all that. Okay, so you kick the cultist into the water. I didn't say all that! <laughs> <laughs> she takes three points of bludgeoning. Oh, <laughs> you're horrible. There's a big old slap as she hits the hits the water doing a belly flop. She belly flops. Oh, yeah, she belly flops. <laughs> Why would you do that? Anyway. Uh, Azeroth, are you jumping in? I'm the heaviest weighed person here. I'm going to have so many disadvantages it hurts. And by that, I mean, let me roll for what? Was it acrobatics or? Athletics is to swim. Use okay. those swimmer's muscles. Okay, okay then. Athletic As tech. a skunk with a heavy tail that uh, weighs a ton when wet, I'm sure you've swum plenty of times. I mean, should I, can I apply disadvantages on this or just something you have to do? Uh, no, I was wrong. The armor only applies to stealth checks. So you're okay. Oh, okay then. You know, I never would have thought it, but it turns out that Azeroth is a swimmer. Now his strong arms pull him easily through the water, and he just looks right at home. I mean, oh. it takes a bit more effort for him to keep above, because he's wearing all of that heavy equipment, and the tail is weighing him down, but... What tails?
by the way. I'm proficient in athletics. <laughs> okay, I believe we are only waiting on Moriarty. Hmm. To do what? Swim! Get in the water so we can go through the cave. I'm not going- I already said I'm not going down there. Why? I have one hand, I don't know how that water is, and I sang about drowning! And? I don't have a death wishes and. So it's the guy who was screaming, what was the- what was this- what was the chant you said about coming this way again? What? So, I could have sworn it was you chanting, um... Ah, I forgot the words already. Something about death and getting onto it fast. Rushing to death. Are you talking about the song based around you? No. Elysian, help him get on the water. Elysian's already in the water. Elysian, you suck. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> uh, that said, <laughs> I didn't think Elysian was in the uh, water. Since you succeeded your swim check and aren't busy rescuing wolves, give me a quick perception. As you see a fin cutting its way towards you through the water. The only thing I'm not proficient in. Well, apparently you were paying attention this time because you don't see a fin. But uh, you do realize that you don't see an air cultist. Either. Wait, that I don't? Oh. You don't. You shove an unconscious person into a basin directly under a waterfall. Oh, great. Well, it looks like we lost our... I thought that was... A... That was a f no, that and was a I would like to remind you all of the suffocation rules in 5th edition. As a helpless creature, she begins suffocating immediately. And I'm going to tell you I now, she after her, gone. though. Yes, I and spam your own way to the surface. I thought that So as of the rules, float. which I follow quite assiduously, she is currently at zero hit points and dying. I could have sworn that body's natural buoyancy causes them to float while unconscious. Waterfall. The waterfall you don't the hear me side. going through an entire section with everybody who jumped in saying, do you make it out from underneath the waterfall? I thought the waterfall was the south part right here, not the part where... So, somewhere at the bottom of the pool is a drowning air cultist. Uh, yeah, I'll you know. go get her. They had to pull her out of the water already. Yeah. That should be an athletics check to rescue the poor, abused prisoner. I mean, come on, guys, seriously. You kill a necromancer on his birthday after destroying all of his friends. You're drowning your one prisoner. Well, we could friend. have interrogated her sooner had she not been fed hollow ghost jalapeno peppers and the nightmare milk. Potato, <laughs> you managed to pull her up to the surface of the water, but there is no dry land presently available. If you would like to try and administer emergency medical assistance, please give me a medicine check at disadvantage. Oh my goodness. Can I just poke her, spare the dying, get it over with? Yeah, can you, Azeroth, do that? Uh, issue is her lungs are currently full of water. Okay. okay, I'll give her mouth to mouth. And seal. They do mouth to mouth on water all the time. Yeah, and it's going to be a real fishy mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Oh my goodness, just hurry up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll get lucky and taste some of that jalapeno. Yeah, so that's a very spicy kiss, but... Uh, give me another roll, I did say, with disadvantage. Oh, whoops. She gets the fish, you get... Or she brings the spice, you bring the fish. It's like a fish taco. Yay! But if a fish taco was undercooked and disgusting. <laughs> well, those are both quite decent rolls, actually. So, you manage to roll over on your back, compress her stomach to force most of the water out, and then get her breathing again. She is currently stable, with two failed death saving throws. Phew! All right, I'll just, I'll just float so, with it for uh, now. During all of this, most of you have drifted about forty feet downstream. Nim, are you staying with the group or trying to remain up near the water? 
as soon as we know exactly where we're going, he will go with. Well, there is really only one direction to go, and where that is of... either down or down. He's okay, gonna kind of like we're going down. Along on the on the cliff, watching them go. We're going. Good night, Trano. Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, no, Bye, Moriarty. Wait, how are you guys getting back? We don't know. <laughs> well, unless you fight it, the current carries you into the subterranean tunnel. I will trust that all of you are adult enough to maintain your buoyancy and keep your heads above the water. There is enough room here to breathe, but not much else. The clearance is about five feet. I'm confused why you said adult enough for that. Because like, I'm what, saying you may not be the most wise of individuals or the strongest, but you've been adventuring enough, you should know the shit. Uh... In other words, I'm saying your levels are high enough, I'm not going to make you roll to keep your head above water. Okay, cool. I was about to ask, was there something we could do that was, like, childish? <laughs> yes, and try to drown each other. Moriarty, and they yes. are disappearing into the mouth of the tunnel. Waving at you in farewell. You fools! Bye! I need to find someone to fix this hand thing fast. <laughs> Darn it, in retrospect, maybe we should have left the body up there with him. Actually, Tato, go nah. give him back the body. I can't. It's too late now. Why? There's a cliff! <laughs> There's a cliff. Actually, yeah. do you want to know what the best thing is? Uh, yeah. If she were conscious, howling hatred initiates have the ability to hold their breath for 30 minutes. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just saying, it's been under stat blocks, but it has never become relevant until now. Oh. <laughs> Wow, she can hold her breath as fa twice as long as I can. Okay, well, Moriarty is left behind, but the rest of you get a new map. I'm going to start rolling uh, a d20 for, like, every turn. Well, every few turns to see if he jumps in after them or not. This map does indeed have a standard scaling. So one square on the grid is five feet. Those larger yeah! squares are still standard. As you oh. approach the end of the tunnel, another rushing sound reaches your ears and you shoot off of yet another waterfall. We... I swear. There are, and there is a sort of spit of land there. It curves around and moves up to, but it's not quite a platform under the waterfall. As you bob to the surface, because this is a much gentler waterfall, it's more of a water slide, actually. I want to go again. I'm not surprised. You do easily see a small, I wouldn't call it a boat, but it is a craft moored there. The cavern is you know, lined with moss. Again. If you're done. <laughs> and the water here, all of the water here, has a slight luminescence to it. This is not a dark cavern. It is dimly illuminated. No, oh, this is nice. This is that was a gentle time. And it's a gorgeous view. And there are patterns to the moss formed by the rippling waves of the water, 
The water flows languidly in a couple of directions. Soft currents that carry you. Those on the left will be pulled towards the boat. Those on the right slowly move in that direction as well. Uh, towards the northeastern exit. Uh, the water in this cavern is about 20 feet deep. So you will still need to swim to maintain buoyancy. Um, what was the map called? I will reshare it, but it is the Plunging Torrents. Thank you. I meant to pull up a pointer. Ended up minimizing. <laughs> they look so alike. And actually, give me a moment, I'll get you a new wisp. Yay. It's like darting below water right now. And it's like, I'm letting Tato just look at the cool life underwater and stuff. And if there's anything shiny, it'll shine back. Moriarty, plugged up the courage to jump in yet? Let's take a look. No. <laughs> yeah, no. You, uh, I'm, you I'm... move to the edge of the cliff, you look down and you go... <laughs> Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Oh god, they're dead. They're dead. So, they have to be. They're dead. Down the passage, you hear Tato's voice echoing back. Wee! I want to go again. <laughs> Guys, can you hear me? Can we? Uh, it's dim and echoing, but you can hear at least that he's calling towards you. Yeah, man, we good! Huh. Still no. <laughs> what? Well, he figures that out. What are the rest of you doing? Yeah, I'm gonna... Closest land. I'm gonna paddle myself over here to the steps. Get this lady off of me. And the I'll put her onto the boat. Stairs are almost flat. They barely move up at all. And they are covered in wet moss. Yeah, yucky. It's not the firmest footing you've ever had, but it is land, if not dry. And if the we're still in... Sorry. moored there is a punt. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a long, flat-bottomed boat that is usually driven by a pole that are usually mm. used in canals and cities. Cool. The construction now, is a bit rickety. The planks are a bit... Some of them look like they're old, some of them look like they're new. It's like someone built this out of scrap wood. But it is large enough to hold all... Lovely. So, normally... This would be, I guess, slippery, difficult terrain for us due to him dealing with the Underdark now and dealing with a lot of slippery things. He doesn't bother him. He knows how to navigate this. So he walks up the steps. And he calls out to Moriarty, Yo, we found a boat! Oh. Hold on. Whoop, that didn't roll. Hmm. Uh, th this is just really up to me now. That really is up someone? to you? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Do, do I see where the, where the hole kind of started? Tell you what, Tato will you can move... See that there is a cave entrance that the water flows into. 
Tato will move his drift globe towards the entrance to give, like, um... Now the problem full... is, it's still a bit of a ride, and it takes a few twists. So the light oh. doesn't make it back, but sound echoes. Okay, so... He's gonna, like... Kind of back up. Just kind of, like, do that thing where, like, kind of shifts himself forward a bit, trying to psych himself out of it before going for, like, just a straight-up leap for the water. Okay. Where you left off, you were far enough from the waterfall that it's not going to be an issue. That said, when you come out the other end, down that sloping water slide, you are oh. soaking wet. Your tail drags at you. But before your eyes is revealed the glowing mirror. That luminescent water and just otherworldly nature of this cavern. Sploosh. Sploosh. <coughs> okay, I'm here. Welcome back. I'm surprised you're not all dead yet. He can't take um, prophecies too literally. I mean, I don't know. I one time insulted someone that their face was ugly and they died from it. Yeah, that sounds like a spell. Anyway, um, I found a boat. Look at Right, let's get in the boat then. For the purposes of this map, Sorry. you may use the punt as your group icon if you are all on it and moving. Just to make things easier, I'm not going to make you all individually float your tokens on top of it. Yeah, okay. Uh, the priest got under the boat. Yeah. She, she's dying she's... again. And you... The punt capsizes while you're all talking, and the <laughs> initiate auto fails her last uh, death saving throw. And die. The punt punted her. <laughs> there are room for eight people on this boat without crowding. Or I should say with crowding, but without overburdening it. Some of you are a little heavier than the standard person, so I might be riding a bit low on the water, but... It will safely convey all of you. Yay! As long as it doesn't capsize. Um, if you've ever tried to turn a boat over in water, let me tell you, it's not fun. I hope you guys know the men spell. Oh. I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> I said, I hope you guys know the men spell. Never. I... Tim's got no idea. Oh. I might actually. I, I'm I'm still figuring that out. I'm honestly <laughs> joking, but I don't. <laughs> it's a cantrip. I'm figuring myself out still. Give him time. He has to write it into his journal, or I mean logbook, and he can't do that with one. I mean, he can. It's just kind of. Yeah, but when you fill your character sheet out one-handed while nomming on chips or whatever, it looks sloppy, and you just you have to redo it anyway. I mean, for one thing, I wouldn't nom chips while filling out my character sheet. That's just disrespectful to the character. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate that. On the other hand, if your hand is trapped by a cat, which has happened to me before. Moving on. You have a boat. You have a prisoner. And you have a new world to explore. Passages lead out to the northeast and the northwest. Um, where does your pulling tell you, Moriarty? Um. As far as your bardic senses tell you, you have arrived at the place you need to be. Yeah, no, this is it. Huh. 
I'm gonna let my drift globe keep illuminating the underwater. Maybe there's something under there. Tato, dive in. Check it out. Where he gets comfy in the boat. Dripping wet, yes. May I have an investigation check? You may indeed. I will allow either perception or investigation. Alright, since I'm using the drift globe for, you know, light. Um, but you don't actually need it. I... The entire right. pool of water is glowing. Let me to be very clear, unless I state otherwise, assume that you have at least dim lighting everywhere on this map. Cool. I'm just going to lift my hammer up. Uh, Tato, as you're swimming about, you near that northeastern passage, and looking up, you notice a symbol carved into the arch of it. Ooh. There's a symbol on this one, guys. I inspect the symbol. What is it? Let's see if we have it stashed in here somewhere. There you go. Ooh, it's like an X cool. with a bar along the bottom. Hmm. Tato tries to dig into his memory on this symbol here. Let me see. Which one did this one represent? I know it represents one of them. Nim's useless. Huh? Nim is doing his sole job at present, which is making the raft smell like wet dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the symbol job. of the crashing wave, guy. It's this way. Okay, for purposes of the punt. It takes two people to propel it at proper speed, and that is ten feet around. If four people propel it, which there are only two poles, you'll have to provide your own. Then it can go twenty feet around. Can I use my spear as a pole? It's actually not long enough. Oh. Can I create a pole using my abilities to make a weapon? You could probably make an ore that way. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not a weapon. Well, well um, an ore can be a weapon. Anything can be a weapon. Any everyday object can be a weapon. For shame on you for short mining any household. What about weapon. what about a really long spear? I have seen people use forks. The thing is, spears don't tend to be that long. Hmm. What's the longest weapon you can think of? Literally. I I I check the ship. You're cutting in and out. I said I should be able to be able to make it, but let me make sure that is what... Yeah, it just says I create a floating spectral weapon within range. I mean, hey, I can make it float wherever. Well, it's a spectral floating weapon. It's a weapon of force. It's not a tool. Hey, you're forcing the water to move each stroke. Come on. There. Um... Ah, I will argue. No. Ugh. One minute I'm not being creative enough. Well, the issue being it's not meant to last that long anyway. You would need a 20 foot long object. Actually, more like 25 feet to reach the bottom. The depth oh. in most areas is about 20 feet. Okay. Alright guys, um, I'll take one pull, and uh, Elysian, you can take the other. 
Okay. Yeah. We'll do it family style. Yay! I get to call you boy. <laughs> Only if I get to call you grandpa. Actually, Pappy. No, you the call me term there. No. And I know, if we're going by Missouri standards, it's Pappy. Okay, Pappy. I was making a God of War reference. Ugh. I was I making a Huckleberry Finn reference. I haven't played the new God of War games. I'm right. your Huckleberry. To remind you all, passages northeast, northwest. You are currently closest to the Northwest Passage. The Northeast is the one with the symbol graven upon its heart. Whoa! Toward the symbol of the crushing waves! Yeah! The boat slipped out from underneath you all, leaving you wet in the water. Yes. <laughs> it punted itself. Have you ever done that? Try to stand up on something in the pool and it slips out from under you. Quite <laughs> a few times. My, my stepdad had one of those boogie boards and my brother and I would always try and stand on it and we never succeeded. I succeeded in that once and it was for about five seconds. <laughs> okay. Any objections to the Northeast Passage? No. I don't, I don't then the party moves anymore. along. I used to know where we were going, but I have no clue anymore. I'm just along with the hopes that my hand can be restored. It's feeling better, but like, you know. Hey, if it feels better, then... Good. I mean, it wouldn't feel bad in the first place, if you know. Yeah, yeah. it wouldn't have been... been... I don't, know how to I don't know what you're saying. Guard. I don't Falling for a siren song. Hey, it was a gorgeous song. Come on, she had the best singing voice for... Well, probably that you'll ever find in the Underdark. Maybe she was that... also beautiful. I have a question on charm like this. Could you ever use a charm to your advantage? Like... If Moriarty were to have said tackle hunt that um, uh, siren, that harpy, would that have worked? It would be situational, and it would depend on the person charmed and the circumstances of the charm. Okay. In other words, I will always consider such notions, but I will never guarantee a yes. Okay. Or an I don't see the button moving. Here, I'll move it again. Uh, yeah. You slowly <laughs> pull your way along the water. There you go. Navigate. No, don't crash. Don't crash. No, no, there you go. It capsizes. Oh. I'm playing Zelda, Whitewater okay. Rapids. We ran the tunnel the is much like the cavern you left. The walls are covered in moss. Slippery, and you feel like maybe you can climb some of them, maybe not. It would take effort, and you would quite probably slip. The water continues to glow. And after navigating the twists and turns for a time, you come across a cavern with a few strips of land along its edge. I lost my drift globe again. Um, it's somewhere in the water. Go diving for it. <laughs> It went in the gray Unless you're area. you're accidentally leaving it? No, I accidentally put it in the gray area. Should still be able to. Well, it's not actually your tokens. I guess you wouldn't. I didn't see it in the gray area. Do you remember which gray area you lost it in? Around here. Well, I definitely can't see it through the circle. Uh, but I, there it is. Ha ha. Thank you. And so to the east are a few strips of land. 
to the south, you hear another current of water. Or the current, I should say, is pulling you southerly. If you want to resist it, you will have to pull hard. I definitely pull hard. I don't trust your waterfall. I didn't say it was a waterfall. I said the current is moving in that direction. Right. Okay. So, avoiding moving to the south, letting the current carry to the south, which will increase your speed. Or moving up to the I want to move it up to the east. Okay, that is a section of dry land that the punt cannot go into. That's fine. So if you want to proceed eastward, I would recommend tying the boat down somehow. I got rope. Don't we all... Rope tied to what? Don't know yet. Um, I guess we can plant one of the poles into the dirt and tie it. That dirt, it's all stone. Oh. Are there any... Well, there are shelves of stone that you can walk on it's clear they are submerged at least part of the time any dirt would have been washed away long gotcha many stalagmites stalagmites i mean actually no everything in this cavern is smooth in fact oh. if you examine it you as an aquatic species i will allow this for free it looks like until recently this entire system was submerged. Something has artificially lowered the water level from what it used to be. Oh, jeez. We're in a big tunnel. Can uh, can we get... Um, what's it called? Illumination? You can, once you've decided what you're doing with the punt. Um, gee, I don't really know yet. We got the rope. I mean, for now, I guess I'll just hold on to it. I'll tie the rope down. I'll tie the boat and then just hold on to the rope as I get off for a moment. I want to see what's uh, down yeah. here. For um, everybody going with Tato or sticking with the boat? I don't see any reason not to go with Tato. Nim will go. Go with Tato. And then the responses to these things, people, not just one person talking. Okay, is anybody staying with the boat, other than your unconscious prisoner? All right. You have Nim about 50 leave, feet. Nim will leave uh, Silver there with the unconscious prisoner. Okay. Just, you if know. you are using the rope, you will probably have about 40 feet of movement before it becomes an issue. But it will be tugging against you trying to follow that current. That's okay, it feels nice. Alright. I move my drift the globe ahead. shelf of rock, if I can get the unmasking tool around Tato's blubberous bulk, continues on both sides of the river. No. Water. It's not really a river if it doesn't have a source. In fact, it's a fairly stagnant pool. It's backed up water from this current. Revealing a chamber with a deeper pool at its center. In the middle of that chamber, as you will see when I finish outlining this very irregular form, is an iron cage that is half submerged in the water. Oh, jeez. And right here, is that a stalagmite? Well, that is a lump of rock. But it has, as with everything else, been smoothed down to a nub. Uh, Whatever okay. this place is, until very recently, it was submerged for centuries. Oh. I mean, you could tie it to the cage. 
true, I could. If the cage wasn't currently occupied by eight humans. Whoa, what? Tato will, like, dive <laughs> down. Within the iron cage, it is a large iron cage, as you can see. Eight humans. Well, actually, it looks like a dozen figures, but some of them are floating rather than standing. Pack the cage. They have blood running from their foreheads. Are they all... Do they seem dead, or...? Some of them are floating, as I said. A few are grasping the bars, either at the sides or at the top, and tiredly trying to remain above. People are drowning in there. What do we do? Um, 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 um. Uh. Uh, Nim will throw there, there a, a uh, firebolt. Or, sorry. A moon bolt. What is the cage made out of, real quick? It looks to be iron. Okay. Is there a, is there a clear door, real quick? There is a latch up top. Nim will... All right, I... Uh, Nim's going to throw a moon flare at the latch. Uh, it's a bit of a tight target to hit, and I'm going to tell you now, it's not going to make it past the hardness. Sorry, I mm. meant the word hatch. There is a hatch up top that is closed by an iron lock. Hold on. And I'm going to move to climb the big thing. With one hand. You are a champ. It, it, you can climb a ladder with one hand. You just gotta kind of like, pull, you gotta pull yourself up, kind of hoist yourself in, step up, quickly let go, then grab again, pull yourself in, hoist yourself up, step up. Yep. It, it, it's Still difficult. But I uh, it can probably do it. You want me yeah, to technically, roll if you're climbing a ladder, you can actually hit the side of the ladder with one hand while climbing. I mean, it's not really a ladder; it's more of a cage. But like, well, I, I, mean, I presume it would. Function no, what, in a similar sense. What I'm saying is, because it is a cage, it has four sides. You could grab left side or. I uh, got you. I mean, so should I roll for this or? Uh, if you want to give me an athletics check, and uh, Nim, by the way, your spell misses the lock. No athletics, my one weakness. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. You start up, and then your one hand slips off the wet bars, and you splash into the water. Fortunately for you, the pool is still about 20 feet deep. Hey, I guess I... Where is the lock on the bottom? Actually, no, I'm sorry. Here, it's only 15 feet deep. Still plenty of room to, like, recuperate. Drown in. I mean, 15 feet isn't that deep, come on. Where's the lock at for this thing? Hey, I... people can drown in two inches, come on. Fair enough. The lock is up top. Oh, I, well, I'll climb I, up I, top. I mean, if only we had somebody who was the master of lock picking to climb up top here and unlock things for us. Man! If only we had some manner of, like, thief with us that would be able to just, you know, climb up. Uh, I and... don't know. What would you even call that? Like a rogue or something? Uh, that sounds too technical. Let me just run up there. What about the Why do you guys never ask me to do this shit? <laughs> they literally <laughs> just you're, were. You're supposed... We said, and I quote, Oh, there's a lock on top of this cage to open up. Cough, cough. Uh, wait. Let okay. me get up there. You, you know, you could be paying... Yeah. Volunteer your ability. We, we waited yes, for you to fall into yourself before we made jokes about her. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just find the character. I there. volunteer as tribute. So, lock picking, right? Yes. Yes, yes. That would be a sleight of hand, I believe, in this version. I am not failing now unless I roll one. Well, you oh. rolled a not one, and that pretty much means you succeed. Yeah. Elysian climbs up, balances atop the bars, and with a few seconds of rattling with his tools, a click, a clack, and the lock falls free. Woohoo! There we go. That's how you that's how you that's how you rogue. 
thief. Yeah, um, treasure hunted up. Let's see here. Well, you're working on that. Shadow climbs up too. Okay, let's start pulling them out. Uh, give me either an acrobatics or athletics check. Your choice. And actually, I'll need two of them. All of us or me? Nope, just you. Okay. As Boop. you finish unlocking the cage, you jump backwards slightly as you feel a hand reach up to try and grasp your ankle. But as you do, another pair of hands reaches from behind and shoves your foot off of the rug. You fall backwards off of the cage and into the water. Sorry. Humanoids in the cage are glaring at you. What's wrong with you? They push open the hatch and start moving out one are, by one. Are they zombies? No. No, they're definitely not zombies. They're tired, they're shivering in cold. But they're also glaring daggers at Lysian. Tato will speak in Aquin. We thought you were drowning. Are you okay? They actually look at you in surprise and then responds in Aquin. You dare interrupt the trial? Trial? What trial? Now that you have a good look at them, that same X like symbol is carved into their foreheads but they don't exactly look like peasants Got it. Uh, we have to kill them now it's almost as though nobody made any kind of sense motive check or talk to the people but give me initiative please because they're climbing out and there is murder glimmering within their eyes quick can't shut, murder us shut the hatch I mean, well, fortunately, the one person who was up top is no longer up top. I wonder if I have a spell for this. What if you had a spell for this? Yeah, what is it called? Drown then the we wouldn't have to wait for your turn. During that brief exchange, the first two have climbed out onto the top of the bar. I will position them in a moment. I had them spread out for separation. Everybody has rolled but Silver, who was not present. Excellent. Crushing Reaver number one gets to go first. And they jump off of the cage into the water and attack Moria. And Miss Handley, I'm sorry, you're just too handsome. Pardon me, friend. And Tato, you're in your element. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to so swim here, here's, on over. Here's the question, Tato. Yes. Can you drown someone this time? Can you uh, really? Probably not these guys. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Nah, Do I'm going to take mind my spear. As you, sorry, as you begin your turns for Elysian, Moriarty, and Azeroth, you are in 15 foot deep water. Go ahead. Can I do like a charge action with my spear out? And like. Uh, issue is, even underwater for you, it's considered difficult terrain as far as movement, I would say. Do you actually have a swim speed? I do have a swim speed, 30 feet. Then yes, you can make a charge attack, and there isn't technically a rule for it. But I am willing to use the old Pathfinder rule set, which is you get a bonus to your attack, but a penalty to your AC. 
I don't believe we've ever settled it for this group, but I am willing to consider one of two options. Either it's the Pathfinder standard of plus two minus two, or I will give advantage dis or advantage on your attacks, but also advantage on their attacks against you. Uh, Basically, you reap what you sow. I'll go with that second. Advantage for everyone. Yep, everyone gets advantage. They're not all out yet, anyway. Well, this is a group vote here, so feel free to weigh in, you other people. Wait, why is I this prefer special? advantage, um, disadvantage. No, it's advantage, advantage. They get advantage on us, yes. we get advantage on them. Works too. I'm not that particular. The other. All right. If you wish to make a charge, you must move at least 10 feet in a relatively straight line. You have advantage on the attack roll that accompanies the charge, but enemies will also have advantage on attack rolls against you until the beginning of your next turn. Well, that'll hit. Just spear it right into them. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, indeed. That looks like it hurt. I'll take a second attack. Okay. Oh. Actually, let me check one thing here. Yes, that is a miss. Azeroth, you are in water. I mean, but the question is, are they still on top of the cage or not? The one next to you is still on top of the cage. So in total, they're about 10 feet above you. Their feet are 10 feet above you. If you want to move, I will need an athletics check to swim. Okay. Try to move away within range so I can throw my hammer. Or would I be able to throw it from here? I mean... I would need an athletics check to tread water while throwing the hammer, and it's going to be a difficult toss item. So, unfortunately, as you move back to toss your hammer, you lose your buoyancy, your balance in it, and sort of sink. You have lost your actions for this round and are at the bottom of the little lake pond thing. Fun. Dim's not going to bother trying to get in the water. He's just going to throw a moon flare. So is Elysian on top of the cage? No, he was pushed off of it. He is also in the water. And Azeroth saw in the water as well. Everyone is in the water except for Crushing Wave Reaver number two. All right, so no advantage. Ha! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I wanted you to roll a one. Big boom! Quadruple damage, and the target is pushed back 3d4 times 5 feet. If it is large or smaller, taking 1d6 bludgeoning damage for every 5 feet traveled. Okay, yeah, they're going to hit the wall. That was four or three fours, by the way. Uh, let me clear the crit. And then. And then they'll take an additional 1d6 bludgeoning damage for every five feet that they move. 
Yes, flat. I'm not even going to bother rolling that. <laughs> I had less than that hit points left. So, Nim blasts it with a surge of divine retribution. Something that Reaver must have done in the past angered Selene, and the cultist is thrown off of the iron cage and thwacks against the wall on the other end of the cabin. I'm going to leave that body there for a bit. She just goes splat. She just goes splat. It'll am... take her a round or two to peel off of the wall. Uh, I'm thoroughly uh, pleased with this turn of events. I'm sure you are. The crushing grave weaver Reaver to you is uh, dead. Elysium. Yes. You're underwater. No. You're all wet. You're a wet grandpa. Never make that joke again. Please don't. Um, he would go to swim up out of the water. Okay, give me an athletics check to swim. Skills and... Boop. Boop. Okay, you're able to swim half your speed this round. Yay. Is that it? Oh, well, I would hope you have more than that planned. And that was just to determine how well you're going to move in the water. Oh, uh... Well, I'm going to go swim to the nearest crushing griever, which seems to be number one. Okay, that is probably within your movement range, but you will have to go around that cage. Yeah. Please like recall that, that well fighting underwater, unless it is a DM-approved piercing weapon, the attack roll has disadvantage. Master work if I use my daggers? Daggers are an approved weapon. So they go stabby stab. Stabby stab the... Okay, well both of those will hit. Good! <laughs> one attack. One, one, two, one, three. But thanks to Taita's actions last round with the spear, or at the beginning of the round, that is sufficient to get them. Moriarty, you are in the water. The cage is open. All of the cultists who made it out of this round are dead. Moriarty moves to get on land. Okay. And uh, I assume I can't target any of the other guys? Sure, if you have something that goes through the cage. I have many things that go through the cage. I'm a bard after all. They only need to hear me. Uh, let's see. I will go ahead. No. It's something not to have to reveal them because it's a pain in the ass to drag no, yeah. them out individually, but that would... I, there are a few enough of them now, I think I can get them on here. Okay. So you can target them. Those are the ones who are still alive and attempting to get out of the cage. Alright. I was... I... Yeah, I basically start just whispering under my breath to the one that looks like they're the furthest towards the top crawling out. And uh, we'll call that three and four just to keep things simple. Gotcha. So number three, that's my lucky number. I'm going to be casting a thingy here. What a go coincidence. Away. That's my lucky number two. Yeah. Uh, so let me go ahead and do the attack. Where's number three? There they are. Okay. Do 
Did they? Um, they did not make that save. No. Okay. Damn. Edge. <laughs> nice save. And uh, hopefully he feels like he's going to be a failure in life. Maybe yeah, because he's he, going to be dead. He soon. was about to give up on the test anyway, and he knows he's not worthy. And he just he wonders why he's here. His mother told him not to join up. That it would be bad for him. Some adventurer would just kill him someday anyway. Maybe I Should should dissuade... listen to mommy. Maybe I can dissuade him and have a new friend. Nah. But yes, according to the effect of your dissonant whispers, number three moves away from the top of the cage, huddles down in the bottom, and blows bubbles. <laughs> Lovely. I bought us some time. Uh, right, past turn. Boop. <laughs> Uh, Silver is not present. Top of the round, number four climbs out. Unlike number three, they weren't the target of your derision. And they get their action. You know what? Azeroth is drowning anyway. They're going to dive into the water and grapple him. Oh, we're just we're just going straight for Azeroth. I mean, I'm all for it, but like, you know. I mean, I know you have your reasons, but let's not kill other party members. I'm not killing okay, you. Um, technically, just... I need either an athletics or acrobatics check for me to counter that grapple, but since I know your bonus is higher than what he rolled, I'm um, not... Tato. Essentially, Hi. the cultist moves down and tries to grab Azeroth to hold him underwater longer, but... They're just, he didn't count on how big that skunk is. You may go, Tato. Okay, cool. Um. Hmm. Azeroth can handle it. I'm gonna poke my spear right through the bars. Okay, that is definitely a possible action. I'm giving them a boost to their AC for the bars, but which one are you talking about? Let's go with number E. Oh, sure. Pick on the guy who's going to make it out last. Seemed right. Just because he's right there. Well, that'll hit, even with the AC boost. Uh, so will the second one, because it is the exact same. Yay! And go ahead and give me damage. Big damage. I score two long, deep cuts along the side of Crushing Wave Reaver number eight. And the waters around him turn a light pink. Imagine if we had a druid that could summon um, piranha. Let's, uh... okay, Azeroth, you are currently at the bottom of the river. There is an enemy attempting to drown you. Attempting man. Touch me or are coming towards And he's me. trying to grapple you and force you further under the water so you can't breathe. I mean, I mean uh, what do I have to roll then? Strength check or something? Well, whatever you want to do to him. So that means he doesn't technically have me yet? No, he did not successfully grapple you if you've been paying attention. That's what I didn't understand, that's why I asked. Anyways, uh, uh, I guess I'll try to move away. Okay. To land is better than the... Underwater yeah. movement is difficult terrain. You have half of your speed. Thought I... So I don't need to make a check to swim, an athletic check to swim? 
Not this time. It was a particular effect active at that moment. So, half speed. Half speed. So now, I guess I'll use my extra move turn to get to land. Actually, with the diagonal and the movement there, you're not quite going to make it. You'll make it adjacent to land. You were sucked down to the bottom, after all. Still hold my breath. Not you're above the surface, but you just can't. Or you don't have quite enough movement to clamber on the land. So the movement was my action turn. Well, actually, you could take the dash action, even though it's called that, to take a second movement if you wanted. But that was your one movement worth of your one action worth of movement. So if you want to take a second action to move again and get onto dry land, that would work. That ends my turn. Woof. Uh... What do I want to do? What is the brain? Oh yeah, five foot radius there. Uh... <laughs> I got an idea. Oh wait, I can't do that. Actually, yes, I can, because that is a cantrip. Okay, I'm going to Misty Step onto the cage. All right. Right about there. And then I'm going to thunderously howl. To clarify, is at least one of those a bonus action? Yes, Misty Step is a bonus action. I'm going to say I think it is, but I wasn't quite certain. Go ahead. I will... Well, what is the radius on how? Five feet. You're not going to hit all of them with that, obviously. I know, but it'll be five, four, six, and three. Well, the issue is they're actually further down as well. So I will let you hit three of them. Either three, seven, and six or three, eight, and five. Okay, I'll go with three, eight, and five. Did okay. five succeed or no? Uh, five very much succeeded. That was an uh, impressive constitution. Failure on three, or er, whichever one that was, and success on the Aww. Well, that's it for him. Okay, ladies again. There is nothing in the water with you that is hostile at present. Then go to where all the hostiles are. And there are some in the cage. Tato is currently harassing number eight. Or if you make your way around, you might reach number four. The thing is, he's yeah, at the bottom, so I'll... it would take two move actions. I'll go after number eight. Okay, well, those both hit. And he's dead. Another lifeless body joins those already floating amidst the cave. Cage. That it is actually in a cave. Number five is still trying to make his way out. Number eight is Deed. Moriant. I spend a turn to give Nim some bardic inspiration. And thou art inspired. Cool. You use and... Mage Hand to pat him on the head and say good doggy. Yes, might as well. 
I, I got really nothing else to do. I'm kind of just sitting here waiting for you guys to clean up. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Number six is still waiting his turn. Number three is uh, at the bottom of the cage and thinking about his life choices. <laughs> Silver is absent. Number five and six make their way to the top of the cage at this time. Number four does something. Number four isn't allowed to do anything. Uh, actually, four does something. If you're going over there, he's made it about this far downstream. I need to get closer to the boat anyway. So I'll do a charge attack again. Can't. You had to move around the cage. Oh. And that is no, technically 40 feet of movement, so... Oh. Crap. Actually, it's a bit more. It's uh, more like 50 feet. Or 45 feet. Using the diagonal rules. Okay. Is he treading above water? Nope. He is swimming like a frog underneath. Alright. Nim, have Silver cut him off. And Tato oh. will use his uh, ears are prey you on it. Above water. Yes. Then you won't be able to track him visually. In order to properly attack number eight, you would have begun your turn underwater, in all likelihood. If you oh. were looking for number four who was underwater, then you're probably still underwater and cannot talk. Oh, okay. I'll take a rush action then. Okay, dash to move another 30 feet. Or, or whatever dash, your swim yeah. speed is. No, that's, a th that's 30. Catch right Yep, yeah, right up to him. Oh, go. And all of these rivers are supposedly now on top of the cage, correct? No, there are still a couple inside. Five and six are just now attempting to crawl their way out. Number three is still kind of like. Ah, uh, darn it, Nim, why you have to be on top of the cage? Oh. Uh, what I was going to do then. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna have to throw my hammer at number six is on top right now. Or just five in. They uh... are going to be making their way out of the cage on their turn. Okay, then I guess my hands are five in. So There's only the to... one exit, and two of them have been making their way up to it each round. Hi, right. you said five and seven, though, right? I'm trying to. Five and six. Seven is still in the cage. Eight is dead, and four is attempting to flee, but you can't see that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go after number six, then I will throw the hammer at number six. You can't, actually. The hammer won't fit to the bars. I thought he's top. No, he's going to be attempting to get out this round, following the pattern of the others. Oh, so none of them are out. Only them is on top of the cage right now. Okay, well then. Uh, fireball. I'd say use a fireball. I mean, if I do that, he would get affected by that. The cage isn't really exactly... Oh. You know what? I can use Guiding Bolt. That Guiding Bolt should be able to hit things inside the cage, right? Or will that be able to... Guiding Bolt? Uh, I'm going to increase their AC because they have cover from the water, but you can try. I wasn't expecting on damage from it. Uh, it's just I can't really do much else right now. Hmm. 
Yeah, I really can't do much else right now. I'm shooting a fireball at them if they're all inside the cage. I will try to cast on number six. And is actually just going to miss because of the cover they have. I'll mess it off. I gotta wait till they gotta come. Out. All right, so we got now age with Nim. So, and there are still some in the cage, right? Correct. There Nim's are four and, of them still in the cage. Nim's gonna try and uh, shut the hatch on top. Okay, how are you going to do that? Uh, I assume that it's on hinges and can be raised and lowered? Thing is, it opens and then uh, lies down across the bit of front facing towards where the boat is. So you'd have to bend down and get a grip on it. Use your mouth. So it drops down? It folds back towards the outside and drops down along the outside. Okay, so he can use his uh, mouth to grab it. I'm going to require a check of some kind, probably a dexterity. It's not exactly at an angle that you can manipulate easily, but it is so, possible. acrobatics? Give me an athletics, actually, as you wrestle it into place. You chose that just because I've got no bonus, didn't you? No, because it's a heavy cage at a very awkward angle. Mm. I'll say that you just barely manage it. It cool. will take pretty much your turn to do it. Uh, and uh, after he gets it closed, he's going to sit on it and hope that they don't try stabbing him in the butt. But he's doing uh, it. He can give me a perception check to gauge the likelihood of that. Bitches ain't got no knives. Cool. Then he's going to sit on it. In fact, they're, uh, they're wearing their skivvies and that's about it. Then he's sitting How on they... top. How were they expecting to fight us? Did you not hear the part where they didn't mean to fight you? They were here for a trial. They're just pissed. Lysian! Oh, it doesn't matter if they're pissed to me if they're trying to kill me. Well, the closest one to you right now is probably Crushing Reaver 3, but you'd need to dive underwater to attack him properly. Uh, dive I will then. Oh, he's being passive, though. Yeah, he's just kind of sitting half sub or mostly submerged, blowing bubbles. Oh, bubbles! Yay, bubbles! Okay, he's friend. Uh, three? Uh, which other ones can I go after now? Seeing that you've been using daggers, the others have pretty much moved to the center of the cage. I just can't do them there because Nim's on. Ah. Uh, well, you know what a cage has? Holes. Lots yes. of holes. And that's the oh. thing. It's a fairly large cage, and they're all moving in such a way that it's harder for you to get to them. And I am going to give them a fair bit of cover, I see, if you want to try attacking one with your dagger. Uh, the most he likely for you to hit other than three would likely be number he He'd go to climb up on the land. And you said which one other than three? Uh, you can't actually climb up there. It's a larger oh. rock formation. Oh. I and mean, you could climb, climb up it, but it would take both of your move actions. Can I use my bow in the water or not? 
Oh, hell no. A, it wouldn't work. B, you'd ruin your string. Yeah. Essentially, so... it would have an effective range of about five feet. If you've ever tried yeah, shooting so... one. Maybe a bit longer, but... Back, back to I land. Advantage. It'd be Since even... I can't really do anything. Okay, is that your turn? Yep. Number five is going to take an action that will take effect later. Moriarty. You can always just surrender. You just you're yelling that out? No <laughs> yep. kind of check or anything? Just, just trying to persuade them in general. Probably oh, not going to work. Probably, you're probably playing persuasion but, check, at least. I mean... Yeah. D d is is that like good enough for a persuasion check? I'll let you roll a persuasion check to give them a suggestive glance. Okay, let me really quick rules. Roll, roll my persuasion then. Uh, oh, I forgot. I mean, you've got a small bonus to it. Yeah. <laughs> It's not that big. It's it's fine. But uh, for the most part, they ignore you. But uh, number three does look up. In the meantime, number six is going to try and push up against the cage with the help of number five. And they shift Nim about two inches before the hatch falls shut again. Not quite good enough. Silver is not present unless you have an action for him. Uh, he's... Nim would have sent off uh, what Tato to ask, so he... Tato uh... didn't ask. He was underwater at the time. Yes. Good point. Then, uh, nope. Seven takes an action. Four is going to try and wrestle with the sea. What are these actions that these guys are taking? Well, but uh, Tato, for the sake of argument, would you give me either an athletics or acrobatics check? You may have athletics. <laughs> Did I roll a one? I hope so. You rolled a one, sir. Yay! The reaver turns on you as you swim up behind him and grabs you in a bear hug. You are grappled. And coincidentally, it is now your turn. Tato will bite him in the throat. That is a natural weapon. It can therefore be used. Go ahead. Okay, I'm just gonna roll strength because I don't actually have an action in the um, thingy. I rolled again. Nim, can we get a piercing melee fumble, please? Yeah. I believe this is your second one of the session, correct? Yep. That's two. And the second one in a row, which is quite impressive. Yeah, that's that's incredible. <laughs> it's melee, you said? Yes. Natural melee piercing. Footsie! Your wild swing causes your weapon to strike you in the foot, dealing maximum damage. If the weapon um, you're wielding deals bludgeoning damage, your speed is also reduced by 10 feet. Cool, so I bite my own foot. Yep, and the I don't twist even know how turn of bubbles that is the wrestling match. You bite towards his neck, but then, well, suddenly, I'm going to say your flipper is there, actually. Yeah. My tail? Yeah. Okay. And tail, flipper, words. <laughs> All right, so I deal, it, uh, deal six damage to me.
Fine, I'll just get you with my next bite. I'll try again. Alrighty. A three. Wow. That's 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 gonna be a no. Yeah. This guy has got a good hold on you. Alright, I'm gonna use my Slayer's Prey on him, and that'll be it. Alrighty. Azroth. As soon as the initiative is passed, it will be your turn. Did five and whatever make it out of the cage yet? Actually, no. Nim closed the door. No. Oh. Well. And that said, if you were to look on the cage, you'd see the lock sitting right there beside the door. So you're saying I should lock the back in? I thought the lock was on top. The the door and yes, the lock you, on top. you would have to climb up onto the cage and lock it, but it is within the realm of possibility that you could do so. Wouldn't it be more fun to just cast a nice spell on the entire cage? Sure. I'll accept this as an act. What? In any case, let's see if you can move it along, because we technically have four minutes left. Um, uh, so if I were to go over and get the lock and climb the cage, I'd be too actually there. And then, I would okay. allow you to get to the cage and reach up and clasp the lock shut. I will try the... It's actually uh, over on this side. Uh, do I have to roll anything for that? Not really. Okay. You're large enough that you could grasp one of the bar and reach up and do it. Huh. And that is what I will do. I shall go and attempt to well, make sure I lock the cage door so they can't come out. Okay. It's mostly slipping it off of the bar and into the latch and then closing it, which will prevent them from escaping. With the exception of Tato and Crushing Reaver 4, that effectively ends combat. Oh. Do we want to try and resolve Tato's little conundrum or pick it up next week? Wait, how did combat just end? The cage is locked again. They can't get out. They don't have any ranged weapons. Oh. So your number four is the only one free. Okay. Yeah, we got a few minutes left. It's just me and him well, now. Well, I was going to say, I need your word on this, Zim. If we think we can finish it quickly, we if can just we bounce can between there two quickly, turns for a minute. Then yes. Okay. So in the order of things, he has his action first. And unfortunately, he's a bit of an idiot trying to choke out a seal, so he's going to give another grapple check. If you would give me an athletics for him to maintain the grapple. No, I'm going to let him have it. It's going to let him have it? Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to smirk at him. Yeah, you are now restrained. One moment while I apply that to you. Now you may act. Now, while restrained, he's only restraining me with one hand, right? Right now? Oh no, he's he's got both arms and legs clasp, clasped around you. This guy is confident in his ability to hold his breath. He thinks he can win. <laughs> right. Um... Can I make my bite attack with advantage, then? No, you cannot. In fact, due to the restrained condition, you have disadvantage. Oh. 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 I thought we grappled each other, kind of. Hmm. Nope. He is now restraining you. That is what he achieved with his second grapple attempt. Tato's like, cool, I'm just gonna wait. He 
Well, he long... can hold his breath for a good 10 minutes underwater, but That's you have right. 15 base. That's right. And if you are just going to play the waiting game with him, I will say pick this up next week because the others will likely be taking actions during those long and terror minutes. So we will leave things as they are okay. and close. Okay. Bye, everybody. I love all you. Right. Thank you all so much for joining us for Fists of Furry Dungeons and Dragons this week. Uh, we will be back next week with more of it. So do come on by for that. Uh, thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. Because of you guys, I can keep bringing you this content. Uh, also, check out our website, zgfgaming.com. Uh, where we've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, uh, as well as our Patreon, uh, where you can support the channel and help continue making content here. Uh, also, you can check the description on the video or channel to find links for those as well. And thank you again, and I bid you all a very fond adieu. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, I will be back tomorrow with Zelda Link's Awakening. So check that out. See y'all. <laughs>